Hello everybody and welcome to another exciting episode of Main Character Syndrome. I'm your host Cheesy Manfredo aka Upper Miles. And this isn't a, a normal episode, this is actually episode 50. Um, please clap. <laughs> the little, Thank you. The little Thank goblin slaves. I'll add some clapping in post. <laughs> the, the, the little <laughs> goblin and chimp slaves that I keep in the corner. Are the goblin that I forced to lick my knees <laughs> is clapping. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you, thank you. I'm, I'm glad everyone here is fucking excited. <laughs> the thing, is, don't we give gotta, them a name. Never give gotta, them a name. Yeah. Once you give them a name, you 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 fall in love with them. And, yeah, you, know, you start you saying, "All right, you don't have to lick my knees so often." <laughs> <laughs> we have a full house here. Thank you to, uh, I think it was Cam. Yeah, last episode. Uh, thanks to Cam. We talked about Dragon Ball. We won't be talking about Dragon Ball in this episode because oh, um, over. So so he's in the we, he's got, guys, dead. we could go back to shitting on Dragon Ball. It's okay. No, I don't. Enough, want enough to. time has passed. No, you ha- you gotta. That's I how that works to. now. Oh, fuck. Uh, all right, who's a, who are these characters I've decided to bring on for our fiftieth celebration? It is episode. I, the main character of this podcast. That's not true. That's no. Don't. I have a syndrome. The king, is... the king of the main <laughs> characters. It's the king of the main characters. I have, I have a syndrome. I, no, I'm the main. <laughs> no, this I'm is the my main new character. character. The king of main characters. I'm the original main character, it's the king Gilgamesh. Of the main island. It's the king <laughs> Gilgamesh. Island. The original main character. Predating all other main characters. Oh I like God. I like the idea. No, the original main character is Jesus Christ. Let's be real. Come no. on, it's the, gov- it's the governor of Maine. You don't know anything about the fucking Iliad. You <laughs> idiot. <laughs> fucking um, fucking. Patrick, yeah, that's Beowulf. Protus. Yeah, that's me. I'm yeah. King Protus. That's, Listen that's... to my JoJo podcast. Wow. Uh, that's Julian, my co-host, who I should have introduced first. Was yeah. Hey, everybody. Talking. 50 episodes. Wow. Time sure flies. Wow. Wow. <laughs> only, only 50 episodes. Wow. 50 episodes. 50 episodes. Wow. 50 episodes. Wow. Uh, I just says, saw that original video recently. So I felt Christmas. like I was fucking having a, a <laughs> fever dream. Yeah. She's like um she's like an actress now, I think. Yeah, like she should be TV. a senator. <laughs> <laughs> she should true, be a senator. True, and that's that's Kazoo. I do I, think that every I'm time I see a, a charismatic young woman on the internet, I'm like, oh, there's the next president. Oh, uh, Hillary Jr. <laughs> Hillary Jr. <laughs> Hillary Jr., folks. She was never fucking president, so I wouldn't fucking count. <laughs> <laughs> are you Not saying she's a loser? Wait, are you saying she's a loser? Is that what you're fucking saying? <laughs> she's gonna know, lose I just like know, Hillary? I would never imply such a awful the biggest oh, my god. oh my god. Speaking of speaking of strong young women, uh there's Sport Town. Hi. There um, she is. Yeah. I'm gonna. Finally. I want to reanimate all of Attack on Titan, but replace Aaron Yeager with Hillary Clinton. I was... <laughs> yeah, I would. I would start watching it if that was the case. Because to I, get I to come know. so close to succeeding and then being being ripped away from that by a blonde-haired white guy. I don't at want the very that. end. <laughs> I don't. I don't. <laughs> I can't believe they made Attack on Titan Hulk. I yeah. want to be with oh, Bill boy. for the rest. I miss of my when it days. was. I, I miss when it was fascist. Like I could enjoy it. Right. Exactly. Speaking of fascist, Kazoo Choo Choo. What the fuck? Damn. Damn. He He sounded offended. <laughs> he was like, "Well, hold up. Yeah, <laughs> the fuck yeah, you trying yeah, to say, motherfucker? All right. All right. We're, all right, all we're right, spoiling we're my sure. good name. I see." <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right, yeah. No, he's not. Guys, guys, he's not a fascist. Stop calling his work and trying to get him fired. He's not a fascist. (laughs) Believe me. Stop calling his work at this address and telling him to get fired. (laughs) Stop calling his work at Taco Bell and telling him that he's a fascist. All right, they don't care. Toledo, Toledo, California. (laughs) Off the off exit 43. All right, Cheesy, why did you assemble me here? Why did you assemble the superpowers of, mm-hmm. uh, of Flex here? Yeah. Um, because it's a 50th episode, and yeah. uh, that makes it a little bit more special, yeah. I feel. Yeah. yeah because yeah, yeah. uh, this is my first podcast to reach 50 episodes. That's never happened ever. Hey, mm-hmm. I've done that twice. <laughs> oh, wow. See, well, we all can't be so lucky. That's I blame 100. White... That's 250s. 
And that's we barely got past the the Neon Cast, my my premier podcast. Yeah. Barely got past uh, 50, 50 before we canceled. Neon Neon Cast is that like where you talk about Neon Cat for like every no. episode? <laughs> you t- no, every talk- second of Neon Cat. <laughs> Do you, you talk make an about <laughs> Neon Tubes? Maybe like it's like you said it wrong. Maybe Neon <laughs> Tubes. No, it, we, it was an old podcast I did with my my co host, my current co host. Where we talked about a different anime each episode with a cat girl in it. Most of the time, it was me going on Crunchyroll, finding something, us watching one episode and hating it because it was awful. You could have you could have watched a lot of really good stuff. Have you ever watched? You the, we did. Have you ever we watched, watched a lot of bad stuff too? Have you ever watched like... the one with like the primordial cat girls, the the Shiro Masamune one? Uh, it's like called no. the Dominion Tank Police, I believe. Yeah. No, we I didn't think, watch um, that one. Did you I, watch I that I'm, one I'm with the gr- big boobs? I think the localized <laughs> name is like Bodacious Cat Girls or something like that. <laughs> no. Um, I like that name, though. <laughs> there's one that's called like Cat Girl Planet or something. That oh, had, that's like, what I was a- thinking of. That it had was an awful. A&W sponsorship and like all the characters <laughs> were carrying like A&W bags Wait, around. Wait, A&W? Oh, my God. Yes. Yeah. I'm sorry. What? It's called Cat Planet Cuties. Cat Planet I, wonder, Cuties. I wonder if that has a way anything to name. do with... I wonder if that has anything to do with like southern japan because i know they got a and w hella a and w's in like okinawa area because they have like more cars and it's like kind of like a drive through facility oh that's over there. interesting yeah i watched like a welcome to i i watched like one of those eight uh nhk documentaries on it you watched some of those welcome oh to the NHK <laughs> i documentaries. almost said that <laughs> how recent is this um anime oh uh, it's not recent at all it's probably over a decade at this point yeah, yeah. Never fucking mind. <laughs> this I just I literally part of my my soul heals whenever I see like photo of an anime girl with like an American root beer brand. <laughs> All American food. Do they um, drive a lot in this one? Because it might. It I might don't fucking be- remember. Right, right. I don't give a shit. It was okay. garbage. It was yeah. The last time I watched it was a compilation of someone's idea of all of the sexy scenes. No, of course it was definitely a fan service anime. But I do want to talk about, speaking of being in, in Japan and seeing funny American brands, uh, when I was in Japan a few months ago, I did do it. I went to Japan Denny's. Nice. Uh, and it was did very order, fucking funny. Did you order the Denny's sushi? No. Did the, you... the weirdest part about the experience was that pancakes were only on the dessert menu. Huh. Wow. That kind of makes sense. Yeah, they it don't have much yeah. of a sweet tooth, really. Uh, us Amerifats, fats like, you know, we love putting dessert in things where we shouldn't, you know? It's true. They also right. don't really have, like, a breakfast culture in Japan, which I thought was really interesting. Well, that I mean, weird. they have they have breakfast over there. It's just, like, different, you know? The, it's I, not like, I like a bre- lot of... Their breakfast what? culture is, like, running, running away with toast in their mouth. <laughs> That's, like, their breakfast <laughs> culture, right? Yeah. No, uh, like I don't know. It's like you you just see a lot of people like like beef bowl places open at like eight a.m. It's like oh yeah, I'll just get my like I'll, on my way to work. Let me have a delicious bowl. beef bowl. <laughs> that is seriously the thing I miss the most. I would murder a bitch so that I, I could have a beef bowl right now. I definitely watched another so one of those NHK good. documentaries where it was talking about how like people there don't because because it just like the work hours and stuff. People don't have time to make like a traditional Japanese breakfast anymore, which is usually like miso soup and like like a grilled uh <clears throat> i don't want to say a sardine but it's like a like a horse mackerel horse mackerel is what i'm thinking of mm. Mm. Yeah. Mm. that's interesting i mean they gotta like codify like some sort of easier way to make breakfast they don't got lo- no instant like breakfast hot pockets or something <laughs> <laughs> um no i mean you just go to like you the make, fucking like, 7-eleven i guess you, you know, just go to like, the 7-eleven and get some I'm delicious gonna... onigiri you could I my iconic uh bre- cheesy Manfredo um pad and breakfast sandwiches. You can make that shit in under like ten minutes. Ooh, what you gotta is go it? to Japan. I mean it's pretty fucking easy. You like um you get some like hot dog wieners, you kinda like you what you do is that you slice them that you could kinda make kinda like Lincoln logs out of them. <laughs> uh-huh. Nice. Oh, cause Kazoo drove away. <laughs> Yeah, I was getting pretty <laughs> fucking bored of this shit. He, he heard this delicious recipe. He's like, but I got some hot dog <laughs> I have to steal it now. <laughs> could, no, you imagine, no. could you imagine? Could you imagine like like a like a breakfast mascot like just stealing your eggs and bacon? <laughs> <laughs> imagine if like it's just like i'm stealing your coffee now <laughs> <laughs> imagine if other like brands had like mascots that steal like there's like a line of like women underwear and there's a mascot who steals them <laughs> 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 Petey, the I'm victoria's <laughs> secret bandit <laughs> hmm. 
Uh, I'm lingerie blue. Larry, and I have always blue. sneak in. Crimson pink. <laughs> He's don't, just like going. Don't let, don't let lingerie Larry steal your lingerie. Striped <laughs> panties. <laughs> I love the idea of like it's literally like the the Butterfingers ad. Like, oh, don't let them lay a finger on your Butterfinger. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. I bet kids were making jokes like, uh, "Don't lay a finger on my butthole." Back in like school. <laughs> don't Damn, I don't put your correct. finger in my butthole finger. <laughs> <laughs> There's like a YouTube poop right there. That that that's a YouTube poop idea right there. Oh, I'm going oh, to put we, my little. I'm going what to. What are we put talking about? Uh, yeah, what are we talking about? <laughs> I want I want all to right, talk I, about a serious discussion. Uh, okay. What yeah, what, right. what should what direction should this podcast take? <laughs> right. I have. What's the I next move? Talk about, I want to talk about an uh, American anime that I watched recently. Um, <laughs> okay, all right. Wait, did you say so American it, anime? It's an yeah. American anime, which oh is a God. cartoon. So. <laughs> This show is called The Second Best Hospital in the Universe or in the Galaxy. This is a show so obscure, a brand new and so obscure, has no Wikipedia page. Nobody knows what the mm. shit is. Wow. But it's it's literally Rick and Morty for girls and it's very gay and we're very happy about it. <laughs> Rick and Morty for girls? What? It's Rick and Morty for oh, girls. No, nah, that can't it's, no. Yeah, what? You, it's based you Rick and Morty for girls. No, it's okay. You're just it, instead of like that scene where he's all like, "You're just oh, so wow. smart." It's like you're just a Libra. You're just you're just better than these. <laughs> it's people. okay, babe, babe. It's okay, babe. You're just a Libra. It's you're okay. just a Libra, babe. <laughs> you're just uh, a Libra. It's, uh, can you can you can you describe it in a way that I will think sounds cool and want to watch it? Rick and Morty sure. for girls does not like you know that. <laughs> Rick and Morty for girls that sounds Kino. So yeah. it's a, it's a very gay. Depends on what um, season. It's a very gay hospital sort of drama parody, but the the whole like the, the fun part about it is that it's set in an alien universe. So like every single like patient that they deal with has like some wild and unexpected way of being cured. A lot of the times they're like killing the patients, like actively killing them to like <laughs> save them, which is really funny. But I I think a really good like uh what's it called a really good like sales pitch is I think it's like episode two. They have an incredible um time loop episode that I was legitimately like. Because, like, time loops at this point are so, like, hackneyed. Like, everyone's done, like, a fucking time loop movie or an episode. Yeah. yeah. But True this that. one is so clever because because it's a hospital. The woman who's experiencing the time loop is a patient. She's not one of the two doctors that are the main characters. She's a patient who has a heart attack that's coming. And the reason why she's in a time loop is because there's, like, a piece of, like, insurance tech that she bought that like when you die this is like an insurance like they show a commercial for it in universe when you die you get to relive that day so it's like a way of like being able to prevent your own death essentially so Mm -hmm. she's like all right i'm i know i'm gonna die of a heart attack and i just have to go find the right doctors that can cure me and that's just like act one like that whole thing is like the first time you see the character that's going through the time loop we've already been with our characters for a few minutes doing like their little opening gag whatever then this other character walks up and is like all right, I'm in a time loop. This is the 43rd time I've talked to you today. She points at the one girl. She's like, all right, yeah, you're going to say this thing. And then she points at the other girl. You're going to say this thing. And, like, just basically speed runs, like, what you would expect, like, the last act of a, a time loop, uh, like, movie mm. to be. Yeah. Uh. And every episode is like this. Every episode has, like, a very clever, like, sci-fi hook. That's why it's, like, reminds me a lot of early Rick and Morty. Yeah. But also, the characters are really funny and good. And they're all, like very like the main the the one girl who's got like the lighter she's like blue skin her thing is that she has like severe anxiety and as a sufferer of anxiety i can uh, relate to it so, oh wow mm. a girl girls would suffer as anxiety oh, and I'd honestly like... i thought it had pretty good messages about anxiety too which <laughs> i think is kind of rare for for media normally yeah. it's just like oh my god i got better when i watched like when i watched yeah, Puss like... in boots i was like this isn't how it happens <laughs> this, is, <laughs> this isn't a realistic portrayal. Wait, this is realistic at all. That my dog cat talks. My cat doesn't get an anxiety disorder. <laughs> uh, speaking of time loops, I recently watched this movie. Thought it was pretty okay. Um, you can see what the name of the movie is. It's um, just called Mondays, but then it has Mondays. some really long subtitle that I can't read because I don't know Japanese. Is that the? Is that the one? Wait, which? What's the premise of this one? Because I. I I know another Japanese time loop movie that came out like last year that I thought had a really interesting premise. This is from 2022. Uh, So people at an advertising agency realize that they're trapped in a week long time loop 
and every week their memories reset and so it's like Ooh. they're stuck in the work week mm. oh no that's damn how... it's just like me for real <laughs> it's like my real life that that's me with the pod what podcast time loop I, it feels like i'm recording the same episode over and over again <laughs> uh, sounds cool proudus do you, have any, do you have any other cool uh, American anime? Um, unfortunately, I don't have any other American anime. To did you check out the, the new console. Invincible? Oh, fuck yes, I did. Okay, thank you for reminding me. I wanted to specifically talk with you about this. Invincible's back, baby, and it's fucking sick. It's bigger than ever. It's bigger than ever. All my favorite characters are back. We are in the era of Rexplode. We are in the fucking Rexplode renaissance. I don't know if you guys are in here with me, but I'm fucking pumped. I am not in here with you. Fuck Rexplode. <laughs> Rexplode is so fucking incredible base, and we're about to see it. He's about to show the fucking world how amazing he is. It's true. Uh, this part in the comic is sort of a blur for me. Uh, this part between... Uh, a certain character leaving, flying into space, and a, and a certain character flying into Earth is, is <laughs> yeah. a is a is a big blur for me. So I don't really remember most of the stuff that happens here. I thought this episode was okay. It's the first episode after the break, the like the like mid season break. Uh, I thought it was okay. Um, some pretty fucking horrific deaths in it. <laughs> Yeah, they really went with it. Uh, I don't want. They, like, they just... went a little too hard. <laughs> I don't want to just like super spoil this for, I, I know, for y'all. I, I was kind it. of like, oh, none of this that's happening is all that shocking to me. Then that one character got like bored, and I was like, oh, yeah, yep, uh, <laughs> yep. My life is over. That part was very, very rough. I I think I re- remember the divorce scene from the con. Comic. Yeah, they did that in the comic too. I, think, I am um, with you though, Protus. I uh, love I, Rex. Rex, one hundred years. Oh man, it's been fucking years since I read the original. Um, it's funny that you said like this part of the the series is a blur to you. That's probably because they like are heavily excising or heavily cutting out a lot of like bullshit from the comic. Something. So I love Invincible. I think it's like one of the best American like comics ever, like best cape comic for sure. And it does this thing a lot where, like, you can tell that um, it's trying to, like, figure out what to do next. So it meanders <laughs> a bit with the characters. And that's not bad. And in a way that it really does endear you to the characters because you spend a lot of time with them as they kind of are, like, faffing about. Yeah, I sort but, of like downtime, personally. Yeah, they're, they're definitely, if you were to, like, streamline it, there is a huge chunk yeah. of kind of, like, nothing that happens in college I mean, uh, which yeah. they, they actually like they even folded a lot of it in season one which was i thought from like a writing standpoint makes a lot of sense but there is um they completely changed mom's arc uh mm-hmm. it's yeah. she was she was doing bad for a really really long stretch in the comics yeah, they were they were nicer. They're being a lot nicer they're to being, her. Like she is, yeah, she's growing. I mean, are you, saying, she's doing are her you best. saying they uh, they made it woke? Is what you're saying? It's yeah, true. Absolutely, absolutely. Right, they made it. I woke. do have okay, cheesy. You being like the fir- foremost Amber defender of the world, the foremost <laughs> Amber Heard defender. Yeah, that's me. I, I am kind of curious, like how, like, do you think that Amber's character is kind of like a response to all the backlash in season one? Because like. They have made her like out and out so understanding and like bend over backwards for like every bullshit no, thing. Mark, I does. don't think so. I have not seen the new season yet. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> but 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 I'll say this: the fact that I haven't the fact that I haven't seen any new Amber discords discourse makes me like think like, oh shit, did they like undercut her? Kind of like um, kind of like uh in Star Wars, like uh Rise of Skywalker, when they like literally like. Like, oh, you know that one Asian character you all hated in the last movie? Well, she's gone, guys. Don't worry. Like, that's what I thought. That's what I was scared was going to happen. Damn, they they literally, yeah, they literally, it's like fucking Finn goes up to, her name is like Rose Tico. And she's all like, Rose, yeah. are you going to be part of our adventure? And Rose is all like, no, sorry. No. I'm going to stay here and never show up for the rest of the fucking movie. <laughs> like, I have, I have secondary character syndrome illness. Mm-hmm, right, exactly. That's my side podcast, secondary character syndrome. <laughs> yeah. But, That's um, me. But, I mean, I hear nothing but good things. I mean, the thing is that I heard about the fucking hiatus, and everyone's all like, oh, this killed the hype, this killed the hype. 
which is funny because I'm still seeing I, people excited about it. Yeah, I fucking. So hate I like, didn't even like, know it came back. Spork had to tell yeah. me that it came back because yeah. I didn't even know. And I'm it's, like the fucking being an Amazon I'm, show. You really just won't know unless somebody tells you. I fucking, Same with the fucking hospital show. The hospital show I talked about is an Amazon show. Like they just fucking like dump that shit without. Well, yeah, that that, that's yeah. that's really fucking shitty. Shit um, dumps and, and then he didn't yeah. even know. I didn't even know it has been Hotel Season 2 drop. What the fuck? No one. I will kill you. I'm going to kill you. <laughs> imagine, awesome. though. Really, really fast turnaround. Imagine. Dude. Imagine, though. Imagine they did that. That would be fucking yeah. insane. We're gonna, we're saying Kazoo. Oh, oh, sorry. He was, like, in the middle of something. Uh, what was I going to say? I fucking hate how, like, people are, like, so, like, I need everything now. Especially when you have, like, greater access to everything now, currently. I blame climate change yeah. it's like the, dude you could you can literally watch city hunter right now why aren't you doing that like why the, are you the live action the, 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 the dump the like or... netflix dump is just bad for shit it just sucks yes it's good mm-hmm. for certain things but like like jojo part six was a thing and Absolutely nobody gave destroyed shit it. about that because they yeah. waited to dump I, huge They've been do, they've been getting better with that. Like Dungeon Meshi is uh, one episode per week. I think a, um, yeah. what's kind of annoying is that they only do that to like popular stuff, things they know is gonna be like do well. So they don't, <laughs> but which which sucks because like you know that will help a lot of shows that don't yeah. have that much but, traction. You know, yeah, and stuff like Invincible was really benefiting from the week. The week to week reactions of the whole internet was really awesome with season yeah. one. Yeah, people mm-hmm. like to be in the moment of these sorts of things. I, I really do think so. They don't mm-hmm. they don't think they do because they just want all the slop in their face. But they mm-hmm. they want the instant dopamine button. Yeah, I'm, I'm like hoping, I uh, hoping next season of live action One Piece they do it like week. Oh god, I like, hope so too. Yeah. They, oh, they, they, they never would, but that'd be awesome if they did. I, if I was Oda, they don't need I would, to. I would, I People need to like whisper in Oda's. I need to whisper in Oda's ear and be like, "Yo, tell him to drop that shit weekly, or you're gonna yeah. kill or kill yourself." People, <laughs> <laughs> I, I see. I, I've been seeing people be like, "Oda's going on breaks all the time." It's like fucking good. Like, good. I don't yeah. care. He's like, is he like what sixty? Like, let the man fucking rest. Yeah. If the book just ended now, I would get over it. Yeah, but at least he's taking <laughs> oh, my a break. Voice. I, I think it'd be one of those crazy things that I mean, if if he just died now, One Piece, everyone will talk about One Piece for centuries, but for <laughs> different re- for a different reason. Oh my, oh my god, Oda's right. only forty nine years old. He's yeah, not even he's probably gonna die in ten years. <laughs> hey, oh lo- shit! Okay, manga you. manga called life expectancy expectancy is like what sixty? It's like yeah. sixty, right? So 60. you know, we're, we're good. Araki, hey, Araki is a nice uh, sixty four right now, and he looks gorgeous because mm-hmm. yeah. he knows how to live. Life, that I'm, pretty sure that, I'm pretty sure that don't, guy don't wake up to the smoke. news tomorrow. He seems like a normal person. That. I feel like I feel <laughs> don't I don't know. Me. I don't think he had like a Mondan episode, but I I think I know. I wish I, he did. I fucking wish he did so much. Yeah, I know. I know he like he takes time out of his day to like cook for his assistants and stuff, and uh, I, I find that nice. so cute. I, that's um, cool. In, not to burst your bubble, I hear that's very common actually. Because oh. uh, I've heard other stories about like they'll rotate it. Like one day the assistants will do the food, and the other day the manga co will do the food. I mean, mm-hmm. it depends how like kind of like um like if it's like a very super fucking like popular manga ka, they'll yeah. have like a maid do that <laughs> while they all <laughs> that's draw, hilarious. right? <laughs> but um. All of the guys that write books like, I can't believe my fucking sister is a maid that has a giant fucking clitoris or whatever. I can't believe my sister is ovulating 24-7. I can't believe my clitoris <laughs> is a thesaurus. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's a really good one. The clitoris, the thesaurus. Uh, <laughs> that's fucking yeah, awesome. Uh, really, yeah, I think Araki also transitioned to doing monthly, um, monthly, yeah. monthly manga at like, the perfect time because... I don't know. I mean, like, I, I ain't no comic artist, but I can imagine that, like, <laughs> I know reducing reducing your workload from by like literally yeah, like like just to, like twenty five percent of what it was before must be really nice. Like thirty mm-hmm. pages a month as opposed to like what like, like probably eight, 60, 80, 60? Yeah, sixty to sixty to eighty. I would assume. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> that's pretty great. That's pretty good, and I'm happy for that. Um, 
I was gonna say this earlier. I need to check out this movie Mondays that Julian posted. Yeah, I want to uh, check this out too. It does was, look um, pretty cool, actually. There was um, there was another movie that came out last year that I remember. The premise is that it, it's all in one shot. This movie is all done in one shot. Oh, I remember. And, oh, I know what you're talking and, about. And and the idea is that like their TV screens at this like cafe are like ten seconds into the future, mm. right? So oh. it's like this. It's like this intricately like choreographed thing. So like. The people in the screens who are them in the future are looking at other screens that are 10 seconds in the future <laughs> too, right? That's and it's really like, funny. it's like so well choreographed. So I heard, I haven't seen it yet, right? But from what I heard, they and do a they really fucking good job. Killed. Yeah, I, I think some, I think <laughs> there's like some sort of tragedy that happens and they're all trying to figure out like what, what how it's going to happen or something. 9 11 2. 9 11 2 Japanese. Oh no, style. that was a tenant. <laughs> and you're right in front of the 9/11, so you can stop it if you get there fast enough. I had an idea for a tweet where it's all where it was a it was gonna be the Twin Towers, but I photoshopped them out and I put like two cheeseburgers that I stretch out to look like the Twin Towers, <laughs> and one of them one of them has a bite, and I was gonna I was gonna Finally, caption it. I get it. That's kind of funny. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna caption it how to make how to like uh how to make an American understand a 9/11. <laughs> <laughs> That's so awesome. I'm going to make that. I'm going to get canceled in like 5 years. I would years say later. okay, I would get here's my criticism. Make it All like right. how to how to make young Americans because like <laughs> a lot of Americans understand 9/11. You'd have to be like not born in that time. Maybe to, like, you could do it with like yeah. their favorite anime characters. Like you put Gojo you know what? I saw this. I saw this. I saw this. Make the Twin Towers that. say, wait, make the Twin Towers say, like, nah, uh, I'd win. Nah, <laughs> yeah, I, think, I think Gojo would have a pretty easy time in that situation. Nah, yeah, he would love I'd it. Win. He would actually love it. I, this, this exact scenario I brought up, actually, like, it, it's oh, it's yeah. it's a real thing with the Rugrats. Oh, wow. Phil and Lil, oh my god. <laughs> It is That's hilarious insane. watching like post or uh, pre nine eleven footage of the nine eleven towers. Yeah, they're gonna but, um um re release like Spider Man one in theaters, and it'd be really awesome if they announced we're re we're re adding the the nine eleven we're re adding the twin towers scene in the first Spider Man. <laughs> we're re adding the nine eleven. Could you? Scene. Oh my god! Could you imagine if like they did like like the fucking subway scene but it's like the terrorists try to tr- crash them into the plane and it's just spider-man, it's spider- just like, spider-man shoots shoots the webs to grab the wings and he pulls out like ah and he like, makes it like dodge those, like passages are like hitting the the fucking terrorists is like you don't fucking mess with new york city bitch <laughs> there's like one scene there's like a, a flash comic i remember where he's on an airplane he's about to crash into the fucking city so yeah. what he does is that he vibrates his molecules so fast he starts vibrating the the plane at the same like speed and he phases like through the buildings <laughs> and I'm like yeah that's how the flash should have done it <laughs> and then all the women <laughs> orgasm at the same time and, oh, and then God. after after the flash does that the buildings still blow up and he's like what <laughs> <laughs> could, you, could you imagine being like a conspiracy ther- theorist in like the DC universe? You like see that happen, in, like on the ground. It's like you would lose wow. your shit. <laughs> remember, do you guys remember when Doctor Doom cried in 11 Oh, really boy, awesome that it was. That was Doctor cool. <laughs> I think I, this is I, specifically a um, Spider-Man comic, but all the other characters show up. Yeah. yeah, I you got to get I, everybody in. There. The only one that's realistic is like Kingpin. I love yeah, how Kingpin like the. Would. To to the right of Doom is the helmet of the Juggernaut, who canonically took down one of the towers back in the nineties. <laughs> right? So he's all like, he "Damn!" He's, <laughs> he, he's, he's thinking like, "Damn!" You know what? Now that I see it from the outside, that wasn't a good thing. <laughs> I bet, oh, you know, uh, I proper messed up, didn't I? <laughs> I bet. Uh, I bet Spider-Man wishes there were other buildings as tall as the Twin Towers, so he could have just like slung a big web between them to yeah. catch the planes. Uh. It was like, if, if they had only made two more buildings as tall as those, I could have done it. You know would be really funny gag in the next Spider-Man is that he has like a whiteboard with like schematics of the Twin Towers and they're like, what is that for? It's like, oh, that's just my game plan if I were to be able to stop 9-11. Yeah. And they, look, they, look at him, they look at him weird for saying that and he's all like, what? Every superhero does this. Peter Parker is now that. portrayed by Mark Wahlberg. They, they should make a comic where Peter can go back in time and then stop have 9/11. them construct bigger buildings so he can stop 9-11. <laughs> if I wish... Why are they so stupid? Why have they not thought of that? 
They should have back in time. Stilt man could have stopped nine eleven. He has the stilts. He could have caught the plague. If I fucking had superpowers, if that was those were my powers. But then the the third act twist would be the goblin also goes back in time and he's like, "All right, Peter, save Uncle Ben or your precious twin towers." Uh, Yeah, it would have to circle back to Uncle Ben. I joined Al Qaeda, Peter. I joined. (laughs) Yeah, I guess. Yeah, you'd have to put like. They call me the Green Uncle Mulagi. Uncle Ben's like on one of the planes or something. <laughs> oh, yeah, put, yeah. Put him on the Green Goblin puts Uncle Ben on the plane. <laughs> like, he, like Peter can stop it, but Uncle Ben ended up on the plane. <laughs> uh, no, wait, wait, no, it's like, it's Mary Jane and Gwen Stacy, and they're they're each in a different tower. And like, <laughs> yeah, and you gotta yeah, choose, Spider-Man! different planes, Uncle Ben is in another plane, and... <laughs> That's this is really cool. I love this. Uh, Why have I not thought about this? They're so dumb. They're so cape shit is so stupid, dude. Can we, God, yeah, I fucking hate comics. <laughs> can we talk about no the, courage. Can we talk about the pros and cons of nine eleven conspiracy theories? <laughs> no, let's go can, for it. Yeah. Can no? Can we talk about murder drones coming back? Because that's, like, that's what the audience really wants to hear. I was just saying. <laughs> I was just saying. I think it's a. I think, you know. The truth or 9 11 truthers, all a bunch of bullshit, but I think it does deter a lot of younger people from joining in the military. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because, like, you know, feeling bad about it doesn't work on them. So they're like, oh, whatever. Who cares, dude? I don't that shouldn't think, even happen anyway. I don't think the fuck are you uh, talking about? jet fuel can melt a uh, murder drones person. <laughs> <laughs> what if the murder drone? The murder can. drones the is what I call so the plane. Cool. That yeah. hit nine at the top. <laughs> you know what? Like, wait, 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 wait. US Army, US Army campaign poster. Uh, oh, you like murder drones? <laughs> and, and, be the and real murder, murder drones drone. doing a Nazi salute. <laughs> yeah. I can see Become the real right murder there. drone. Join the military. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta be my murder drones ex real life fan fiction. Okay, all right. Go ahead. Talk. What happened to murder drone? Murder yeah. drones. It's coming back. Murder drones. It's coming back. We're in very happy. Form. We're nice. very happy about this. Mm-hmm. Everyone's we very, very happy. happy. We are all very excited. I'm what is the state they, of they gotta murder drop drones it right before um, hentai. Real Circus 2 comes out? Yeah, they, they have to take their moment. I'm going to start a campaign. I'm going to create an army of Digital Circus people saying like, Man, fuck this show. Give us Digital Circus. <laughs> I don't fucking want this fucking show. Give us more Digital Circus. I'm gonna Has anyone drawn that. her kissing Pomni? That feels like an obvious thing. Right? I hope so. You could do it if you want. I guess I could. Uh, probably. That's probably a thing. No. I'm looking up right now. It's a bit of con. So- you know, it's some cross promotion. I think if you had like, <laughs> like if you had like Batman and Superman kiss each other, you know, the answer I feel is like yes. people would buy that issue. <laughs> I typed in Murder Drones X because I was going to say Digital Circus, and the first thing was Murder Drones X Reader. And I'm just <laughs> oh, like, wow. <laughs> like, ah, oh, yes, if only all of the Murder Drones would date me. Oh. <laughs> okay, someone did it. I, I there think. we go. There you go. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> uh, aren't there like Murder Drones like 13, maybe? I don't fucking know. I made that yeah. up. Who's like 16? Oh, and okay, I think Pony is cool, canonically like 24. She's 25. Or 45. <laughs> it was a big Yeah, what if what if Pomni was actually 45. like a 45 year old? Can, that'd Pomni be awesome. Should be like 38. I think that'd be cool. There is, there is a theory that like yeah. I hope that's true. I hope Goosework seems like that very shit posty enough yeah. to do that. No, Pomni is Goose, actually Goose Homer Simpson that, that in like real 25. life. Is that fucking Miku? Nah. Nah. It looks like Miku, doesn't it? Right. No, that's, it does that's, look that's, like that's Miku. That's digital drone circuit. That's when I gave her the four G. That's a digital drone. <laughs> I just, I, I wish that I could meet, like, every, like, 13-year-old that is watching. Like, <laughs> yeah, the like, context. <laughs> well, <laughs> I want to be 13-year-old. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> well, you heard of it. You're 13. And you meet no, but, no, okay, that came out really bad. But, like, nah, I, I just, want, I just uh, want all of, like, the 13-year-olds in the world to appreciate, like, how much they are feasting right now like yeah. oh my god if, if murder yeah. just came out when i was in in like middle school oh, i would yeah. be a wholly it would be different like, human being. It would be what like did we have when we were kids we had uh we had, like, steel and butt ugly martians we had charlie the unicorn no yeah. we had charlie oh, wait, wait, the hey unicorn. hold up we i love had, charlie like, the unicorn dude fuck you we had like super mario brother z or whatever yeah we had super, we super that mario guy's brother like z. transphobic now i think or something yeah i never watched that uh i know i know you didn't watch it so i i could tell 
yeah you can it was pretty yeah. epic i remember watching it a sleepover it was pretty awesome it, it was pretty cool um i was under this huge delusion when i was a kid about like how good super mario rpg was because everyone's like oh best best mario rpg game and then i just played it recently i played like the i guess the remastered remake whatever the fuck you want to call it uh, and i was like uh mario and luigi superstar saga was better <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> it's very it was very bare bones like it was pretty like oh all the other rpg mario rpgs are just like using this as like the skeleton yeah people have just been like rabbits about that right? for years because yeah. they want they want that fucking <laughs> puppet in smash brothers for one some gino reason. and smash bros i have a very funny memory of so yeah i was in like middle school probably my friend showed me super mario brothers z i was like oh my god, oh my god. and I, I remember trying to sh- <laughs> we're trying to show it to my uncle and him immediately like running away <laughs> oh my god <laughs> what the fuck <laughs> he like immediately tur- he took his leave as quick as he possibly could <laughs> he and was like i must not be near no, the- I, I, I have like a similar goodbye. story i have like i think i i showed like i got well i didn't show a godfather this but he like he like walked up behind me and he was like hey, you know like bowser is like a swear word and like J- Japanese. Really? Like, <laughs> <Excuse me. laughs> just like telling uh, I was once downloading a, a stick fight off a uh, flip note Hatena on my on my DSI as a child. My dad was trying to leave and go somewhere, uh, and I said, "Wait, wait, wait! I have to show you this. It's just gonna download." And flip notes download <laughs> one frame at a time, very slowly. <laughs> so it took like five minutes to download, and then I showed it to him. And he just like immediately like, oh my god, and he walked away. <laughs> <laughs> That's really funny. I just like cool. shared it to him and he was like, what the fuck? <laughs> he just walked away. That's fucking uh, And I was like, you know what? Why did I think my dad would think that was cool? I, I can't wait to be in the opposite position. I can't wait to be like like a dad and have my kid be like, yo, you, you need to see this digital circus fan animation. And I'm going to be need like, to see oh, yes. Dad, dad, come in here. The, the, the skibbity toilet guy who's bought digital circus and now it's the digital circus. <laughs> uh, dad, so we get a new episode fucking, every day. You be Furry so VTuber. You already like, you would be so fucking lucky. Oh my God. <laughs> if I were a dad, uh, I would be very annoying about that. Like my kids would stop sharing things with me because I would just have to too much. <laughs> Uh, that's that's really awesome. Yeah. You're like instilling like deep shame in them. that. That yeah. sounds like the that sounds like the road to no contact <laughs> in the <Yeah>. future. <laughs> God, I would want to be like, a fucking. Oh, holy shit! Friday Night Funkin'. Yeah. Oh, quick, turn on the other one. Click on that one. <laughs> Click on that one. Click on that one. You, you become S- sits with your sits with son for five hours. You, you'll be like, yeah, um, no, no, no. we need to watch this this uh, digital circus Friday Night Funkin' fan mod. You could you'll be like uh, Seth MacFarlane in the like the Inuyasha skit in uh, Robot Chicken, where he becomes like <laughs> obsessed with it and he like dresses <laughs> like it. That is actually like, really call, funny. Oh, call me Inuyasha. Oh, we call you could go, man. <laughs> <laughs> I actually, I actually really like that that skit. It's good. Mm-hmm. It's really funny. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, it's right. just literally the dad just wants to get close with his daughter. I think that's actually really. I funny. remember like that period of Adult Swim. They had like a lot of bumpers kind of talking shit on Inuyasha. I guess they really Damn, fucking hated yeah. it, but they had it because so. that was like the ironic like shitting on anime yeah. kind of era. I mean, we're kind of still in that, I guess. Yeah, we're yeah. a little bit there still. Anime um, will never not be a I toilet never liked dumpster. Inuyasha as a kid. Oh I, I liked I was it boring as decently, fuck. but, like, I never watched too much of it. I I watched it because he was, like, on at 5 a.m., and I had to get up that early for, like, school, I believe. I vividly remember when they showed the first episode of it, and it was, like, a big deal. Because, yeah. like, really, I remember watching a lot of the Cowboy, Be- Cowboy Bebop before that, and seeing the first episode as, like, a nine-year-old, I was, like this is the greatest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> like, I thought it was, like, better than Cowboy Bebop, and then I don't think I watched another episode of it ever again. Damn. That was my reaction to the first uh, Inuyasha movie. Because, like you, I had seen Cowboy Bebop first in, like, just little bits of it because I had stayed up past my actual bedtime to sneak a peek. But Inuyasha was premiering at a time where I didn't have to go to bed. And I was yeah. like, oh, wow. I don't know if I, like, ever had that experience where i saw a cartoon and thought oh this is the greatest thing ever if i did i can't remember um it must be long that was me with the jimmy neutron movie oh my god yes the scene the scene where all the uh the amusement park rides take off 
Oh, you love that scene. You're, I, you're I was literally cheering. I was crying. I was you cheering so cheering. hard. You had to stand up and clap as a child. You, you, you know that <laughs> I was I was that one guy in um who who went to go see Love Lies Bleeding, who who jerked off. That was me. Oh, that that guy time. was my hero. I didn't like finding out that he had to go to jail. Well, I mean, he, I don't know he, 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 he did do it like a sex. <laughs> oh, you guys don't know about this? Wait, hold up. You guys don't know about the guy who was jerking out during Love Lies I've never Bleeding? even heard of that movie. I don't even know what this movie yeah, is. I don't know what this is. <laughs> y'all, y'all ain't cultured. Damn. I, I, know, I so, only know I about Pee Wee Herman jerking right. off. Yeah, so, I only watch, I only watch anime. So Love Lies Bleeding is like a movie about like lesbian wrestlers. Love Live? Love Lies. Love live? Lies, like you're lying. Love Lies Love, Bleeding. Oh. Love lesbians, bleeding like like you're bleeding like like blood yeah. comes out of your body, right? Yeah. So this movie this movie came out and there was one guy who who yeah, I guess loved it so much he jerked off in theaters and damn that's awesome. And the only real evidence we know that that's um awesome. <clears throat> the only real evidence that we know that he did this is the fact that someone took a picture of him like passed out with his cock out in his seat. <laughs> <laughs> you guys have not se- <laughs> you guys have not seen this picture. I, no, please, I have not please seen. Please find it. Also, fit, put it into the episode, but just like blur out the. the well, the well, make it here, the thumbnail. Well, here's the thing. He was like, um. Oh, I found it. Yeah, you found it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Post, post, it. Post, it. post it. Post it. I was looking for like Justin Wang's tweet because that's how I first. Damn, found he's it. got. He's this man's got like a whole fuck. Oh, he's got a battle station. Right? <laughs> he has a. He has, he has fucking, a legit battle. He station. has like fucking alcohol, and, and I think it might be like. What like the? A, f- uh, is this like I, I literally thought he was like packing a bowl when what I first the- saw this. Like, <laughs> is this like table? This is like a fancier theater. Yeah, yeah. yeah. His, it must be like a one of those uh, Alamo draft this, houses. This is also like, like that's not yeah. what they look like though. I've never been. I to think one. those have like tables. If I remember. They do. Oh really? I've, like, I've, I've there are. I've, I've been in theaters like these where they have a like a recliners that go way back and whatnot. I mean, those are like all the theaters near me. I mean, now. you're just asking to get someone to start jerking off. So you have seats them. like that. <laughs> movie theater seats like shouldn't be too comfortable. Theaters with like a canopy beds. <laughs> <laughs> they should make movies with uglier actors. You know. They should make movies I've been like thinking about this recently. Point. That is like a real thing that I actually kind of. That's why like books are so wonderful. Because I can imagine because, everyone's like, ugly. Is what you're gonna say? Right? No. Well, okay. You're gonna hate me for this, but all I was, right, I was thinking about Game of Thrones. All I was right. thinking about Game of Thrones, okay, yeah. and like all of the characters in Game of Thrones in the books are like teenager, like young teens, okay. and they age them. They age almost all of them up. But also like Tyrion is like extremely ugly, and like George talks about how ugly Tyrion is all the time. Mm-hmm. But then like. Uh, Peter Dinklage plays him which Peter Dinklage is a very nice looking guy yeah. and then he gets like a horrible scar uh, like in the second book Tyrion gets like a terrible scar that like literally destroys his whole nose but in the show he gets like a cute little like scar over his eye like the anime <laughs> scar I, yeah, he gets the anime scar like I that's one thing like I movies are too fucking afraid of having like ugly people be actors True. it sucks yeah, 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 um, I agree the disgrace Harry Potter is like that too Everybody like, in Harry Potter is like a disgusting freak. Yeah, it's true. Didn't they? Um, there was one kid. And Hermione was black. I don't know how they <laughs> fucked that shit up. <laughs> there was yeah, a. Was like, did they just not read the part where it you, said you, she was black? You, you, you say that. You say that. But wasn't there legitimately like a black actress who got replaced with a white one once her character started getting oh. speaking roles? Oh. You talking that, about? No, I that was like an actual. That I don't know Harry Potter. I don't think there's oh, any well. black actresses in, in Harry Potter. <laughs> in Harry Potter. <laughs> yes, sir. Oh my god. I don't <laughs> think <laughs> I, no, there. I there think might be right. one. <laughs> there was that one kid in um, Prisoner of Azkaban, but he didn't come back. I never saw him again. There's like a black character. He's in Gryffindor and he like holds a sign up. That's all I remember. Oh, uh, Dean? Is you, What the fuck are you talking about, Dean? Like you know him. Yeah. I There's Dean. And I'm watching the movie. And I'm like, hey, it's Dean. Piece of shit. You don't know, know, you know that Dean's? Harry Potter character's name. Fuck you, acting like you know, you know that Dean. fucking Harry Potter character. Fuck you. You, you, you know. There's such like. There's such an easy <laughs> joke that somebody could make right now about like awful like stereotype like uh Harry Potter. Yeah, yeah, I like they. All of the all of the fucking all of the minorities in Harry Potter are like that. I think the Irish one is like, like, like Seamus McBlasty or whatever. The okay, yeah. boom, boom, found. Okay, found that Tony made a nice little fucking good little black the black erasure. Harry okay, Potter. but whenever I read books, Look. I try to make everybody in my oh, brain as Oh, Lavender Brown. Possible. Holy shit, that yeah, was supposed the, to be her. 
Yeah, the character of Lavender Brown. Oh, she is no, like black. Is Lavender Brown. She is black in Chamber of Secrets, and then she did not once, have... once she gets like a speaking role, they replace her with a white actress. That's so oh, fucked no. up. Right? Yeah. That yeah. is fucked up. But also, I wonder if they actually did describe her as white in the book she actually speaks in. <laughs> no, it's okay to replace black people if, if like, you know, you be canon with the fucking war. I mean, you know, it's only fair. I mean, we're, play- we're replacing the main character, like the main girl in the thing with the black person. So, yeah, okay. Could you imagine? Could you that, imagine, like, the Okay, that isn't fucking her body, though. though. That's fucking. This is like could a side. Imagine, <laughs> could you imagine, like, descriptive language like that for like a side character who has like two lines like her glistening white skin uh, hey. lavender comes in with her glistening white skin isn't lavender <laughs> the girl who uh poisons ron in uh that one book she yeah, like you, know be, love potion. Potion. you know it'd be really funny uh yeah doesn't La- are you talking about lavender doing the love potion for ron yeah 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 th- i think that was her wasn't you it you guys remember so much about harry potter it's lo- it's crazy. It's I was COVID. into it long before COVID. J.K. Rowling made it shit. Made it to woke. Be into it, yeah. <laughs> Fucking. I still up. remember. I have the uh, screenshot of me taking a quiz and finding out I'm Slytherin. <laughs> oh, I was Slytherin too. Oh, how base over base. Yeah, I think I was. What's like... your um? What's your fucking uh? P- p- Patronus. I don't know. I didn't. I, I didn't take that. I don't, I don't remember that one. I, think I can't I take the word. Wrong. I can't think of the word. Back in college, my one friend was like, <laughs> my, my, my one friend was so into Harry Potter and she made me take the test. I didn't really care about Harry Potter. Yeah. She made me take the test and I got Slytherin and she was so angry. She was like, <laughs> you are not Slytherin. You are not well, Slytherin. Yeah, yeah. You're not Slytherin. I'm fucking evil. Sneak around. I'm fucking evil. You just have that to kinda, become evil now. That kind of reminds me of, um, there's this one story that uh, Pan Pizza told me about like in elementary school when him and his buddy got into a fight. And his and his buddy like um, pushed him over and says like you can't you can't beat me Pan I'm darker than you <laughs> <laughs> but as in like being edgier is what he meant not like light skin <laughs> <laughs> so this is what this girl was to to Jim she was like I'm more eviler than you Protus you can't fucking be Slytherin she is like darker me. than me <laughs> she is she is darker I think than I was gri- not not to brag not to brag I think I was Gryffindor last I took the test like years ago wow not to brag not to brag main character yeah, yeah, yeah right the stars speaking of uh, character line. Moment. maybe JK <laughs> Rowling knows what she's uh, talking about you know <laughs> speaking of uh, quizzes we took in in college and high school I once took a persona, uh, persona <laughs> quiz yeah. about which arcana I am, <laughs> right. and I got the fool based on the main character. Nice. Suck it. Well, I had no cool. idea such a quiz exists, or I would have. Taken well, it. as we all know, Persona is more white centric, and Harry Potter is more Mexican centric. So yeah, <laughs> I think it makes sense. Persona is white centric. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, Harry Potter is really the Mexican Persona. Yeah, Harry Potter is kind of like the Dragon Ball Z, but for Mexico. <laughs> that makes a lot of sense. That, that makes more sense than Yeah, Hagrid is a uh, jovial, morbidly obese guy who I hangs out um, with all the kids. I think in Japan they hella love Harry yeah, Potter. Yeah, Igor. Oh, yeah, they, they, they Harry Harry fucking do. Yeah. That that I, one um that hella love like it a everywhere. Mon- yeah, there's it a manga sense. in Jump right now that's basically what if Harry Potter was like uh, a ninja. Strong. Yeah. Oh, I was gonna say Naruto. <laughs> no, 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 no. Like Literally, the, the there's like a manga called like Marshall or whatever the fuck. Yeah. Oh yeah. I think they yeah. should like reboot Harry Potter, but like rip off Naruto, and how you have it is all the wizard kids are like child soldiers, just like Naruto. Yeah, that's yeah. how I felt they're, about seeing the, uh, of, like, the teaser trailer British... for Star Wars Acolyte. I'm like, you know, they opened with that scene with the kids. Like, just make the whole thing about the kids. I heard people wanting that real bad. What were you saying, Kazoo? I was gonna say, could you imagine if they were like MI6, but they were like wizards? <laughs> <laughs> That's literally my like, fucking. I had an oh, idea for on. a that story. That has been done. Let me let me search. There, my brain there must to be. That's, that's kind of been. that's kind there of my future dozens. comic in a sense. But okay, yeah. well, all right. But in my comic, the the, my the comic. wizards are Israel. And <laughs> in my comic, in my comic, for see... Israel. <laughs> They're evil. Did you guys see this? Uh... <laughs> This really cute little animation somebody did of like PS2 style or you know PS1 style Harry. And <laughs> oh Hagrid. yeah, I love these. I'm going. Hagrid, Hagrid gives Harry a Game Boy, and it's the most like wholesome, charming thing I've ever seen. I love this so much. I hope Which is interesting. I, I because, hope you're not uh, giving me the classic Jim Protus trick here. I hope he doesn't like shove it up his polygon. No, no it's legitimately wholesome. very wholesome. He's like Harry. I've got you the Game Boy Advance Purple Edition, <laughs> and also Pokemon Blue. I already have Red, so we can trade later. That's awesome. 
Oh, it's so wow. cute. Yeah, and no, it also looks great. Damn, you're right. There isn't like a punchline. There isn't like a fucked up punchline in this. It's just, yeah. it's just, oh, here's a game. Usually boy. these hey. kinds of videos are like, oh, Hagrid uh, eats people or something. So this was a surprise. Yeah, Jim, yeah Hagrid sexually harasses Jim, her. This is kind of gay. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> this reminds me of like, I saw this video forever ago on like Twitter. It's just like, all of them are kissing all of his Pikmin goodnight, and I'm so used to like the internet, like <laughs> edgy, like oh something has to end in like an awful joke. Right. But it doesn't. Yeah. It just, he just he just kisses them all, and they all go. It just ends. And I was like, That's Aw. we love it. It's we like when people are sharing those that. animations of the uh, that one painter girl from Kirby hanging out with the Kirby's, and I kept waiting for the shoe to drop, and it's like no, she's just a uh, that one. That one feels kind of weird. Hangs out with Kirby's. You ever like um? You ever like um? I, I don't want to say we're consume something, but you ever like? <laughs> I guess like ever like something like a experience. piece of experience, you say the word a experience, a piece of media or we, something. Yeah. We have other words that's like to you like everyone loves, but to you you're like oh this is like obviously someone's just fetish, right? Like this is just a fetish. Oh thing, yeah, right? of course. Yeah, that was yeah. that was the every season of Rick and Morty. Oh, okay, well <laughs> not not that <laughs> obvious, but. <laughs> I just watched well, this video and this is the most unironically wholesome thing I've ever seen in my fucking life. Isn't it so cute? It's really adorable. <laughs> Jim, this is I a, love it. This is a fetish. This is a Game Boy fetish. <laughs> this is actually uh, like the sweetest. This is thing a link cable seen. fetish. Um, was it? IDK. I really don't know who this guy is, but he did like this little animation recently, and it's actually kind of cool. It's like completely unrelated to like a thing. Like it's his own character, I guess. Yeah. Uh, Oh, his name is Hoop Hoopley. Oh man, Hoop-hoop-ly. he was he was very Hoop-ly. active like a month ago, and then he's like he's probably just working on more stuff. Yeah. Oh, this is the guy that did the <laughs> Morshu RTX video. Oh my god. Mm. Oh, he Morshu. makes he, he makes two hundred twenty one point thousand dollars. Two hundred twenty one point eight a month. Whoa, that's so epic! Damn, that's you a lot. You want bombs? <laughs> okay so yeah we like we have like 15 minutes before i have to leave uh do you have anything you want to say to me well i'm not going to end the podcast in 15 minutes yeah. uh, I what, I, I what do i gotta say to you? all right you know what actually uh t- <laughs> tell us about tell about this comic oh, that yeah, you made yeah, yeah. you made you made yeah, a, I bought a laser something. printer there's there's a cheap brand of laser printers you can buy called brother Brother, brother. Yeah. brother. If you buy, if you buy a, one of them, I recommend you get the 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 the. Let me get the name. Uh, there's a specific one uh, that I bought. It's the HLL two four six zero DW. Don't get the other ones. That's the best one for cheap. Uh, Jarvis, and, uh, write that down. It's a laser printer, right? It's a laser printer. Uh, black and white and i bought it and i was like this is like a hundred something 150 or so cheap yeah. i will buy oh, it and i will all. make comics and i bought nice. it and i made a comic and i printed oh, it. oh yeah we love to see it oh printing what? shit is actually kind of a nightmare until you get it figured out <laughs> yeah, i want to get colored uh i want to get like colored paper and then print out like zines with that like imagining mm-hmm. like a black and white well or, or like a like a a, bl- a black and yellow zine is really cool in my head. The uh, yeah, they have. I went to office place and they uh, had different papers, and I bought some yeah. sixty-five pound, pa- sixty-five pound paper, which is slightly thicker. Yes. I didn't use it though. Mm. I haven't used it yet, but um, mm. I I just actually ran out of toner, cause all today this morning or earlier, not this morning. I don't wake up in the morning. Uh, earlier, I was tr- fiddling with the printer, trying to figure out how to get it to print multiple copies at once, which was way more complicated than it should have been. And the a weird thing with this printer, I don't know if all printers are like this. This one has like automatic double siding, so some printers oh, you, cool. you need to oh. you, some people some printers you need to manually do it to double side a print. That's very On, convenient. That's yeah. how long it's been since I purchased a printer that was something that I heard about but have never seen in person. Yep, mm. uh, that's why I recommend this one because it has everything. It has Wi-Fi and everything. But um, mm. uh, uh, and so what are you printing? I was yeah. printing. I made a zine comic. Post it in the test. thing so they can put it in the yeah in the, oh, the, the video. Put it in the thing. 
Yeah. Uh, I will have to make a better example of it. I don't know All if right. I want to use. I'll have to make it. I'll have to take a well, better well, video of it or something. Well, Remember what, to whatever. come back it's to like just just, po 55. just post it. Yeah. I just post it yeah. now. I mean, like. No, I have know. to make a better one. No, just post, I, I, just post I made, it. Now. I made that quick video. I just made a quick video where I like took a video of it. We could like I, it, it, we could like, like well, uh, see people advertise. people. I we mean, could, then, like, people like, would follow you stamp. or like they could like check it out. Like I would just play it. Like it doesn't matter. Come on. All right, you know what? You know what? I mean, lame. We could just we could just include right, like, you know like, a, like a timestamp right here, and then she can just like post it. I later, just I just do I just like if people would just listen to this and then I mention like that I'm showing something to somebody just assume I'm going to put the image of it all right here fuck. on the video <laughs> fuck fuck here fuck here it's it's a video you get a video all right, Yay. Perfect. Yay. Yeah, there it fuck is you. fuck Test. you fuck you yeah this yeah. looks yeah this looks hella good holy shit yeah, it's, it's pretty good what's uh is it like eight pages what's, uh what's the game plan after of the ad what is uh, so I was so I was figuring out how to print this so the thing with this is you have to like I don't know if this is a thing with my with just my printer or all printers. For some reason, when you print multiple images, the second image will be like upside down. So whenever you print double sided, uh, one mm. like the the cover will be right, and then, and then the one on the back will be upside down. Oh. And then I I had to flip every other image upside down so that that would not happen. Mm. And then I had to figure out how to get it to print multiple full comics at once because it wouldn't collate, which is a which is a printing term and i had to figure out how to get it to collate and it was way more complicated and i printed like uh several thousand uh pages that are oh, wrong shit. that are fucked up and wrong oh no, <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> and, and, and trying to test various ways of getting this shit to work properly um because i couldn't use a pdf i tried to put it in a pdf and have it do it that way but the problem with that was I you I went in Eclipse Studio Paint and I used the grid to like measure out the edges of where the printer printing edge was on the paper, so like the maximum edge of where it could print, and then I made like a guide based off that so I could draw within the lines and be yeah. on the page. But if you do it in a PDF, the print size will be different and it'll be different in all sorts of ways, and it's just not good. So, but I figured it out uh, right as my fucking printer died. So I have like I have like. <laughs> I have like five copies I actually have printed and I need to get more toner now. Mm. Well, it didn't die. It, it ran out of toner. Right. One of these. Uh, yeah, so I want to get into zine making and printing and shit. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah you're that's gonna, pretty good. That's, you're gonna, pretty that's good. so cool. You're going to boof at your local zine fest? Yeah, you should do that. Uh, my local zine boof. fest will take place whenever I am in California, so I will not do that. Oh, oh, that's cool. I mean, you should do that when you get to California. That's a bit. That's the biggest. Yeah, we we've we've been we've been we've been talking about it. Spiral and I've been we've been talking about it. Nice. Hell yeah. Um, well, I'm but, I'm happy. I'm happy to see you're making you're making things. That's awesome. I always make things. <laughs> okay. I'm always making things. All right. It doesn't it doesn't count until it's physical. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. All right. You know what? <laughs> that's okay. not that's not true. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. I just I've been like on an endless endless like digital like kick, me so. shitting in my hand. Does this count as, as making? <laughs> is, this, is, this is, this is this art? Is, is this fucking art? Tell me how this is political. <laughs> yeah, every every one of these six page comics takes as much toner as probably like twenty to thirty regular document pages. What? That's, so, that's so cool. Probably. So I need to figure and and I have I've realized why uh little laser printer zines don't usually aren't usually that detailed and uh <laughs> yeah. but whatever, it's fine. Mm -hmm. uh, one of my old corporate jobs back in the day, I I remember having to change out the toner for like this massive fucking printer we had. And it literally was like I felt like I was changing like uranium rods. They were yeah. like these massive <laughs> rods be, that I had to like install. It would be so thing. cool to work in an office and steal like an old like risograph uh, printer. Oh, that would be mm -hmm. fucking awesome. They right? have yeah, they have things like that. I hear people people like getting them. A lot of like indie yeah. collectives or whatever will get old printers like that and yeah. use them. I think Piao is coming out with like an art book that is like um, going. All the pages are going to be like risographs. 
or something. Oh, I think all, it, it, I think all their comics are rise to graft. Is that no, what um? No, is that no, what no. Piao? Is that what Piao Two awesome. is supposed to be? I don't know if just that's an all art of them. book just, or are they, I thought they were coming back to like printing things. I think they're actually coming back, but I know they have a Kickstarter going. Yeah. They, they took my advice. One art, one art, I'll go find the art book. They took my I epic like advice most of their that I gave. Are I think that was. I think I felt like that's their thing. Oh man, it's not. It's not it cheap. can't be Maybe because I I have like a few of their books and like some of the paper quality is like worse between some of them. Like some of them. I have cool. um. I have last chance to find Duke, and like the paper is a little bit flimsier than something like Frog in the Fall or something. That shit's not cheap to do. Um, yeah, it ain't. I, it but ain't. I do want to do it again for like just another back of, another batch of McPagliacci's. I feel like I'm yeah. I'm, I'm getting co- close to like confident to like trying that again now that I'm I'm becoming big Twitter artist as yeah. we speak. I'm at twelve k yeah, now. Are you? Spiral uh, has been talking about a. Uh... He he's he's in with people in Silver Sprocket. Oh, they love boy. him. He's their favorite <laughs> special little boy, and um, and I'm gonna try and jump off of his shoulders and and, <laughs> get in, and, and jump in there and infiltrate. He, he, he mentions try. cheesy Manfredo, and they're like, ooh, oh, ooh, mm, ooh. Yeah, it, uh, you're never gonna guy. work in this. You're never gonna work in this. Scene. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, th- you meet them. They're like, oh, Spork, that's so cool. Can I follow you on social? And like, ooh, you follow cheesy Manfredo? Uh, yeah. I don't know. About yeah. that. Oh, no, that guy's kind of problematic. Over. He's kind of a fucking second, freak. second only to Stone Toss. Yeah, exactly. We're br- we're <laughs> brothers. We're both Latinos. Yeah, I, learned, I learned that recently. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> Yo, a, f- a friend of mine, IRL, posted about that in our group chat for like no one. I don't know why he did, but he just like posted the image and everything and was like making fun of Stone Toss. I was like, ah, I, yeah, my one friend like beast of this guy. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? You know what's funny is um when the news first dropped, I quick the first thing I did is I went to like Clip Studio and I quickly cranked out this meme, uh, right? And now I'm seeing it. I'm seeing it in random places. Like people are just reposting this. <laughs> yeah. That's like the best tweet he ever made. That is the best tweet <laughs> ever made, and I've seen. I, I have been saying this, yeah. Yeah, other people have like tried to make their version of this, but like it, it, it they looks ugly. Like I don't know why they make it look ugly, but uh, my meme is better. Uh, theirs is ugly. True. And no, it's true. It's no, it, my meme is better. I'm literally saying he that. looks like <laughs> such a young. Like you'd see him at like your if you're on campus at college, like your young conservative. <laughs> young like, Texas like, Peter Griffin here. Hell yeah, brother! We gotta keep those blacks back away. I can't, I can't wait, wait for, for a Philip pure Seymour Latino to, light skin uh, race. <laughs> play him in the uh, biopic. Right, the Stone, Stone Toss biopic. biopic. I was, that would um, be the most boring biopic. He's just on the computer, like. It'll start kind of like Uncut Gems, where like it opens with like um, Adam Sandler's like rectal mm. examination, but it opens with yeah, uh, Stone yeah, Toss yeah. like botch circumcision. Like, his thoughts are com- <laughs> you know i bet he just has like a regular cut dick and he's just like obsessed about it you know stone drop, like- drop the dick pics let's see let's see, <laughs> let's see. maybe it's not that bad yeah, maybe i do you have, have no say, reason like, to be a white supremacist those those conservatives talk like every like sir i mean like he says he can't feel anything like sex and masturbation doesn't feel good to him so okay i do actually have strong opinions about this yeah. okay. um about circumcision a- before you say that <laughs> I'm sorry, Protus. Before you say that, can I just say, it's crazy. The craziest thing about this is Stone Doss is so racist, he's not even into Japanese women. Yeah, <laughs> I, that's what I love about it. It's like, he has this like idea that like a like a, a pure white woman is in Japan. She's not getting fucked. She's There's got to be at least one, like most, one every, right? <laughs> every single other guy like him would be all over, like, you know, Japanese women yeah, are like, yeah. conservative guys are like oh Japanese women are are the, their <laughs> we thing need we need to fight. secure the white race in Japan <laughs> they're per- they're perfect they're so uh, docile and and, they, and and but this guy's nope only white submissive and breedable oh. only mm-hmm. white samurai okay, code has made this white woman pure <laughs> <laughs> yeah <you're... laughs> okay go ahead Paris. uh okay regarding the whole circumcision thing like I am like <laughs> sympathetic 
just because <laughs> so like okay, I do as a fellow as a fellow white as a as a fellow white I am sympathetic. Um no but like I I legitimately like one of my close friends it sounds like it's me but I swear it's not me. <laughs> it's not me guys it's not me. <laughs> no seriously like one of my one of my close friends it, like actually came out to me once and said that he had like essentially the same thing where like a botched circumcision that resulted in like no feeling and like for like no pleasure basically and uh i just think that's really shitty and i I generally am like really against circumcision as like it is just like general mutilation no it is you can't you can't even talk about this people start laughing i know i I, I, I only laugh because i only laugh because of the conversation like like swerve <laughs> like the topic change immediately it is very funny yeah. i look <laughs> but like you could be i i do think that it is not a good reason to become terrible. a racist it's yeah, terrible, I, yeah. I, I think it's like yeah i think there's no good reason to become a racist mm. um like imagine if it was if the script was flipped like genital female genital mutilation is like so vilified so horrific mm. like i don't know it's just one of those things. It's like, yeah. come on, game, Gamergate two. Maybe I'm gonna start Gamergate two about this. I don't know. <laughs> you know yeah, yeah, I'm that's Gamergate two. That's what it's gonna two. be about. It's gonna be a. <laughs> uh, you know, the crazy thing is, he if he was more Latino, he wouldn't have been circumcised. True. Exactly. <laughs> True. Exactly. He's like the. It's like the meme. It's like born at the worst time. Like too late to explore the stars. Too early to explore the World Wide Web or whatever. Yeah. Do we know if he's like his dad was was. Puerto Rican, right? Or is no, his mom. Um, is Puerto I would, Rican. I would presume his mother would be because he his has mom's like the Puerto full. Rican. He has, he's, he's got the full German on in regards to name. Right. I love that. That's his name. Oh yeah, that's right. Hans um, Christian Grabener. Hans full. Christian Grabener. Anderson. <laughs> <laughs> I really like. Yeah. Is no, you go ahead. Okay. I wasn't gonna say anything. Go ahead. Ahead, I wanted to ask, what would be the angle of uh, Gamergate 2 in that regard? Like, would you point to Lara Croft and, like, uh, <laughs> do graphical depictions of how her uh, genitals were ruined? <laughs> her genitals were ruined. <laughs> they they ruined, ruined her genitals. <laughs> it's weird that there's not been a, like, there's really not been any, like, high-profile anti-circumcision stuff. You know? It is it, very. It, it, well, it's, lo- like, it's, it's never. It's, really it's like kind of tough. Like... What it is is it's like most like white guys who live in America just have it, and their dicks are like fine. So it's like it's it's hard to be like a. Yeah. It's hard to like really care about. You don't know. It. Like you literally don't know what you're missing. Between like, Dante and Virgil, you, you, which you one is know, circumcised? <laughs> Dante, the the poet. What if, what if all these no, like, Jap- the, uh, video Japanese developers start announcing that all these <laughs> different guy characters are circumcised? Right, you is circumcised. Tra- Travis Touchdown definitely circumcised. Mario oh, circumcised. Yeah. Actually, Mario's circumcised. No, but no, Luigi Mario's. Isn't. <laughs> Mario's Mario's uncut. Mario's it's, uncut. It's for funny sure. in like Penny and Stocking. They have like a because since it's supposed to be like more Western esque, they you have know, like a thing where they make fun of Brief because he's not circumcised. You know, I'm pretty sure oh God, most Japanese that. men are not circumcised. Wanting, wanting yeah. a guy, I can, I can. That's confirm. like an old <laughs> school. <laughs> I, can, I, can, confirm. Yeah. I can confirm. I can, I can confirm. I've been to a Japanese hospital. But like, yeah, you, I could, you, you, like, um, bowed and they showed you your penis. <laughs> yeah, I was yeah, like, they're like making like, fun hey, of. Let me just see this like, little oh, thing. Western women make fun of men who are circumcised. Wanting a wanting a penis that's like circumcised is a very kind of old school like preference. Because uh, I remember, like, in, even in Venture, in Venture Bros, they weirdly did that a lot, right? There's, like, two jokes I remember where, like... Yeah, I recall. It. Yeah, where it's like, oh, Dean, Dean is not even circumcised. And then a girl says, ill. And it's like, damn. <laughs> that's crazy. I'm, lie. I'm not going to lie. I do not think that's as old school as you think it is. Damn. Well, I guess I don't hear it too often. I mean, I guess if you would spout that opinion it might, it now, might just be like a guys come up off. It might just be, yeah. like, an online thing. Because I feel like well, most I mean, people... Most no, people it's not. Generally, I don't think so. You think so? I don't know. No, I, I, for real, yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Someone gotta make a survey. Someone gotta be one of those like TikTok guys who interviews people with his phone. Has I mean, to be like, I mean, think about it. Like, like, <laughs> think about it. Like, most men do don't know anything about vaginas, so if they True. think of like, oh, this one's abnormal and gross, and it's it goes the same both ways, you know. Mm. So, and here being circumcised is the standard, so you see like. 
Oh, uncircumcised. That's weird. Well, okay. Like well, just just to let everyone know this podcast is anti-circumcision, but we're also anti-racism. Oh, yeah. So we're we're kind of the centrist when it comes to stone tops. We're not cutting the skin. We're <laughs> cutting the racism. If right. His, exactly. If his dad were Puerto Rican instead of Islam, he would be he'd be he'd be fine. Yeah. I'm be, starting a uh, awareness a campaign to help people become more pro inverted nipples. So we need to get that trending. <laughs> I we think, should start doing like reverse <laughs> circumcisions where we only leave the foreskin, but we take. I'll, I'll, look, I'll donate half of my foreskin to Stone Toss so he stops the racism. <laughs> He's got to be part of the. If he does not break... deserve, even if he stopped, he does not deserve that. He, he has. You know the, the meme with the with that comic where like it's like, who do you think gave you those breasts? He has to apologize for inspiring uh, that mass shooter, and then and then maybe we could start the healing process. <laughs> no. There's too oh many issues he has to apologize for. Um, I think like yeah, I mean, and the like crazy two. thing is, it's like circumcision is like the first traumatic experience most males face. Yeah, and it just it has literally like lifelong like changes to your brain from that moment on. It's I crazy. really, I really feel bad for like um certain cultures that get it done in like their um. Uh, like they're like teenagers pre- yeah teenage i knew this this one girl who like was dating like this like turkish guy and he got his circumcision and like as as like a 13 year old i was like i could not that's imagine awful. that yeah like, i knew i knew well i didn't know him but my friend knew a guy who was uncircumcised in high school and he was so insecure about it he got a circumcision oh, and i was like wow. oh my god what? you do not know what you just did to yourself you fucked that's so unfortunate you fucked oh. up so fucking bad <laughs> unbelievable dude also to just like have such shame about your body that's so unfortunate it is really it's it's yeah it's fucking horrible yeah it's a shame you know Wow. But you shouldn't be racist about it. <laughs> yeah, it should never lead. It should never lead you down a a uh, race. I mean, it does seem like own. mostly right wingers are are seem to dominate the anti circumcision mm. talk. I think I think that's because, on unironically, the left is not good about men's issues at all. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and, I'm, 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 no, uh, I, I, I don't know if I, yeah, I, don't I, know if I fully this. agree with that. No, I for real think this because, yeah, like a lot of men's issues get get sort of swept under the rug, like for women's issues, which are generally larger. True, but like it, it definitely leaves men very alienated, and they generally turn to the to the right for those reasons. Uh, so I, yeah, I totally see like a guy. I totally see like a guy who's like. Oh, this thing that gets done to men happened to me. I've, I'm fucked up for life now. Like, genuinely, I don't think there's like, like people aren't really talking about that. I, I don't know. I don't know if I uh, agree because like it, it seems like it it, it 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 always seems like with like the men's rights activists, it's like a, it's always like a what about ism, you know yeah i mean right. yeah it's always in relation they're feeling like and, underserved and what's, what's like, annoying is that it always kind of starts with a framing of like oh like of 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 like you know as like feminism as like the enemy when it, it shouldn't like start yeah. like that it should just be that like i have like chosen this cause that i think is like unfair that happens to men you know and th- right. then to frame we, it as yeah. like as like something that like oh wow women aren't like you know like yeah. catering it, it, to the kind of this but because like i bet like i 100 percent bet that there's like a lot of like intersectionality that like people don't talk too much about no with, for real. with like, feminism yeah. right yeah yeah so yeah, like you we, know we, so many people treat it like a zero-sum game yeah like, oh like oh we're focusing on women's rights that means that men like oh that like, means you I hate can, men like i right. feel like yeah, not everything has to yeah. be in like contest with each other yeah. like legitimately i think a lot of people's brains are wired like that so it's like because i think the big example is always people point to how courts unfairly uh they unfairly side with with mothers in like custody cases um and i think that like one or two of those experiences happen to someone and it's like a lifelong path of just like the the going down super conservative it's, like it's the it's honestly we we do need to do a lot better job of of telling everybody that the patriarchy is at fault for the problems of men as well mm-hmm. we yeah. really don't they like like, like yeah like men, men, thing. It, it's all like in, it's all like interconnected you know yeah and it's like yeah. it's so annoying because even the whole like oh the court siding with the mother that's also like you know because 
of the enforced idea of like women are better caregivers that you know a lot yeah. of conservative men unironically agree but they like also hate divorce and it's and like men, and men are violent or supposed to be or mm-hmm. they're not supposed to be they're and not supposed to be good a, a lot of guys are like taught to be confrontational about a lot of things which, which fucking yeah. like sucks because like yeah. I, th- I think uh, those guys like need a lot of help like early on because i think it gets to a point where their brain just gets too cooked you know yeah. and it's like oh there's nothing we could do we gotta take him out like a dog <laughs> not, not true, but. <laughs> it's, it's such a shame <laughs> it's such a shame that we we relate closer to chimpanzees than we do bonobos i know i think like, about this all the time but that... <laughs> bonobos solve yo bonobos <laughs> <laughs> but no, but for real, okay. if if you're all unaware, bonobos. Bonobos are the matriarchal um, of the two chimpanzee likes. Very, very famously, they they like, almost identical to chimpanzees, but they solve all their conflicts with like sex yeah, and like very kissy, like a. Uh, yeah, like literally, like, and it's gonna sound like awful and sacrilegious, but like even within families, like if tensions get high and there's like a confrontation, where chimps would like rip each other's brains out and like cannibalize each other, bonobos will literally be like. No, there is actual documented yeah. uh, cannibalism with chimps. Yeah, That's chimps thing. are. Nice. I think the. Um, I think the big. But difference... bonobos will just fuck each other. They'll just be like, "All right, our tension's really high. Let's just get our like." They'll just have like a quick sex session, and then they'll be like, "All right." Yeah, yeah, I think the big difference them. between the two of them is that like the bonobos live in like a lusher part of um, uh, I forget the river they're separated by, but it's like somewhere in like South south america i think I don't know. <laughs> south america. somewhere in like india or somewhere or something like that no but like the chimps have like harsher conditions or whatever and that's why well not that that's probably not the only reason why but it, it probably explains why they're fucking crazy what's that what's that what's the fascist thing like hard land hard, <laughs> hard times, times make hard hard, hard, hard times make good hard, hard, make good time. hard, 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 hard times make hard chimps <laughs> weak chimps make soft but no weak chimps make bad anime <laughs> i did not know i did not know that normal chimps were uh pan troglodytes that's, 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 not like a, that's not like a that's not like an ancient that's not like an ancient slur <laughs> that you yeah. Yeah. Okay. I think Paradox said that well in Steven Universe I, I fucking pan <laughs> um, there's a book about this called Sex at Dawn if you want to read all about the bonobos nice Actually, that sounds really Wait, cool. didn't it, it, I just remember seeing like some uh, documentaries you didn't explain it. what pantroglodytes are that's a chimp Oh, it's, it's a common just, chimpanzee. That's just like the name for it. Yeah, their their Latin name is Pan Troglodytes. <laughs> that's hilarious. Well, troglodyte just means like cave dweller, right? Yeah, I think so. Mm. And Pan would mean across, so they're like gay. Uh, <laughs> so they're gay cave cavemen. They're like like all gender, like cavemen that like all genders. Yeah. Cave, yeah, that makes sense. Cavemen, yeah. if you will. The uh, primordial ghouler, if you will. <laughs> Sorry, gooner. <laughs> The primordial Gooler. Gooler. No, I like Gooler. <laughs> primordial Gooler. Primordial Gooler. Do you think Gooler, yeah. ever, like, grouped That's a good one. jerked off? Yeah, I mean, Definitely. Yeah, obviously, yeah. 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 Like, Duh, I, you ever, you ever, like, okay, this might be... <laughs> <laughs> you know I'm not gonna bring those up. I was gonna bring up something, but I was gonna I was gonna um, put some people on blast that I don't want to. <laughs> no. Primordial um, Ghouler. One thing that great. I think about a lot. Primordial Ghouler is incredible, that's, and I'm gonna get it tied in my body. That's bottom. the name. That's the name of the of the the species that the villain from Villainverse is. He's a Primordial Ghouler. Yeah, <laughs> uh, unironically. Yeah. That, that works. Uh, uh, thanks, Julian. I, I, you will not be cre- you will not be credited for that. <laughs> In the book, sorry. Damn. Uh, I literally it's, forgot it's what I was like it's say. like primordial the primordial ghouler so oft forgotten. Mm. <laughs> 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 uh, okay, I remember what I was gonna say. It's so okay, stupid so that I have to go back something... to work right now. It's so fucking dumb. <laughs> <laughs> so something I think about a lot is how humans basically have never changed. Humans are always the same. Like You'll find like ancient like accounts of humans like being silly and doing goofy stuff. Yeah. So I just always assume that like even back in like caveman times, I'm assuming they were doing the same shit we They're do now. Podcasting. Like, there's a little, 
A little bit more. Yeah, they're just like, all right, Gr- Grug and Erg of oh, their podcast. Grug and Erg. Grug and Erg. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, there's, 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 where's the first podcast? <laughs> it's true. There's a very long living. There's a very long living example of one that's still podcast. He's got one of the biggest podcasts on right now. Oh, fucking right. Joe Rogan. <laughs> yeah, it's <laughs> true. <laughs> God, fucking. Uh, it's so that's true. why he likes chimpanzees so much. He's like, he's, he's been close to. Uh, <laughs> he's he's there's right, yeah, exactly. Okay, 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 okay. I shouldn't start this because I really need to go back to work. No, fuck it. Uh, no, go to work. Yeah, I was gonna say. I you know, it's been longer than fifteen minutes. I'm at work, but um. Anyway, no, it's just been six. It's just been like seven minutes. But um, okay. I this is one of my favorite things to think about. Like back in like deep, deep prehistoric times when like humans first arose, there were like other like non-human species that were similar in intelligence to us just around yes yeah and that is like the the like literally like fantasy races existed literally yeah, yeah, yeah basically literally mm-hmm. the the, the like, reason why like humans managed was because we could just i think it was like it's both we stamina outbred. and we have like a good throwing arm like and we outbred it. we mm-hmm. Yeah, they we think that grand. we we outbred like neanderthals neanderthals yeah. were like the last living ones yeah yeah, it's like. Well, they they did interbreed too. I yeah, swear to God, I heard videos. somewhere th- say that Neanderthals were smarter than us, but I I don't have like a source. Yeah, right. fucking people say that. That's fucking and, Neanderthal and, yeah. like apologist. <laughs> you know they're actually yeah, smarter than us. Rogan. You know they're the big. Their cocks were running thicker. And... For his home team. <laughs> yeah, and they were bigger. They were and, and they made uh, better they anime bigger, than they, us. They. they I think that's they a died common thing that people say. Yeah. And I don't know if it's true. Of I don't know if any like actual research has been done on it because I'm pretty sure we're definitely smarter because we probably because we're alive. Yeah. I mean, yeah, people say that bad. the tool, the tool making thing, came from Neanderthals, but also I'm, I feel like there's like like crypto well, racism. Homo I feel like there's like uh, oh, go, go ahead. <laughs> Neanderthal racism. Uh, so the Homo Homo habilis, which is a, in my understanding, predates Neanderthal and and Homo erectus. Uh, was the first uh, that's okay. like Homo habilis literally means like handyman or whatever. They were the first tool using um, mm. hominids. Mm. I, I think yeah, people say that maybe they were more creative or something. But I think that's like crypto racism because <laughs> it's hard to uh, quantify. Really. Be- because primordial because, racism. Um, Neanderthals are mostly in the European areas <clears throat> and like the True. Euro-Asian areas. But they were white. And, oh shit. And, I'm and people like and people say yeah, one, and they they interbred thing. with the people who would become white people. They interbred with everybody. I mean, it's been like so long. Yeah. They're they're definitely in everyone every, has. You a think you like, Every white, human has some, some racist DNA. white people will say that yeah, we had Neanderthals and they were like the the cool chads and we have Neanderthal <laughs> blood in us. Some white all people right, will say that. All right. <laughs> I'm pretty sure like <laughs> Yakub Yakub took like Neanderthal DNA to start like the. the, the <laughs> I feel the like like every people. like. Every like Slavic person is probably like point zero 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 percent one percent Neanderthal in some way. I have like yeah, so I mean, many. Yeah. I have so many like cousins with like a thick brow line. I'm like, oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> That's um, really awesome. I can't remember who it was, but somebody in my life like this actually did happen to me, mm. and it's not me. Somebody <laughs> in my life did one of those like twenty three and Me tests, and like every human on Earth to this day like has a bit of neanderthal in their dna oh my sister like, did it's one like of very those. small yeah and my my one friend did it and got like four percent it was like 4.6 percent neanderthal dna Whoa. and it said that she was like the top first percentile of humans oh, with neanderthal shit. dna no, and i was right. just like lma let's, let's no. racially analyze this person Jim, yeah. uh, <laughs> I forget who it was. I knew it was a girl, but I forget who if it was. There was Are like they a, a princess? If there was let's, like a uh, let's skull size like this person. Get all the most Neanderthal gene people together and like breed them until we bring the Neanderthals back. <laughs> yeah, like, oh, wow, that's amazing. That shit Jurassic Park to do too. With, uh, with with mammoths. Okay, white people may have Neanderthals, but uh, Africans have the ghost lineage of unknown humans in them. So that's, that's cool <laughs> oh wow, that's wait. So that's that's kind of like um, like in fucking My Hero Academia when Deku has like all the other powers, right? <laughs> like he activates. Yeah, them. yeah, yeah. That's what black and people have. And I like have. that all the articles have references as, <laughs> as ghost DNA, or the, <laughs> yeah. ghost lim- the unknown ghost <laughs> lineage. That's a fucking awesome, that's Danny fan dude, he, uh, dude, why are they struggling to make the black shonen? Here's your fucking premise right here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is literally what happens in the Danny fan years movie. years ago. Our, our evil, unknown, yeah, evil Nathandrathals, evil Nathandrathals. He was born from kings. 
Fuck in the end. Long ago, like long ago, <laughs> like evil quote that for the rest of the year. Evil that's, fucking uh evil fucking Neanderthals, awesome. they they invented sickle cell to fight off the the fucking the sentence of lineage. yeah, the ghost lineage, right? <laughs> As to kinda like, you know, um handicap them, but they, they have too much ghost DNA. <laughs> one of one of these one of these ancient like proto humans has like has some powers. I know it's true. <laughs> we just gotta figure out which one. <laughs> you gotta tap in. Gotta bring it, it back. Okay, all right, exactly. That's so cool. Yeah. That's, that's um, what happened on really the Negro cool. Solstice. Uh, <laughs> white people think the Negro Solstice didn't actually happen, but like, all the black people know that. You're talking about, about um, you're talking about mind, fucking like two years ago. Say. Sorry. <laughs> oh shit! Right, okay. <laughs> oh my god, I'm gonna go. I'm about to go down a fucking Indiana Jones rabbit hole where I discover this. The ghost DNA. The ghost DNA, yeah. Indiana Jones Double and the ghost DNA. DNA. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh my god. That's awesome. I'm I'm happy I'm happy. Uh yeah, don't That's go don't cool. go into work sports. Stay here. I lo- I am gonna get in trouble imminently. <laughs> oh, whatever. Uh, I'm definitely already in trouble. I noticed that my uh, boss's boss sent an email an hour ago and I'm like, oh shit, he was here the whole time. Fuck. <laughs> he I'm was like soon. You can't give a fuck. You can't you can't record podcasts on the job. This is fucking... You can't you're not allowed to talk about That's the primordial ghoulers. Right Smithers, what is that one doing? It'd uh, be he's podcasting, sir. <laughs> <laughs> he, he's, he's, he's gooning, sir. He's gooning, sir. <laughs> That's, mm. Who's that one? That's Hopper's sister. What is he doing? He's gooning, sir. <laughs> <laughs> you mind telling me what you're doing on that ship tree God. chief you know speaking of fucking like fucking like like fucking apes and whatnot i i still think about that one joke in the simpsons where like they're trying to like get more attention on nasa and they're like what if we give them the secret that every time we send a chip into space they come back hyper intelligent and then the chimp turns around in his chair with his pipe is like no i don't think we'll be doing that <laughs> walks away <laughs> That's such an awesome <laughs> ass. Yeah. I love stupid jokes like that. <laughs> uh, old Simpsons is so Fuck cool. it, I hate, I hate, I hate new things. I want old things back. Give me old things now. <laughs> it's true. Mm. Old Simpsons is so old cool. Simpsons oh god. Is really I'm crying. I'm. It's time to my rewatch X Files and then use it to shit on every uh, current mystery drama coming out. I really need to watch X Files. I here. always wanted to as a kid, and then I just never. I tried to. to I tried to do it. Um, Camille Nanjiani. But did like this is years and years like over oh, a decade yeah, ago. Forever he was ago. he was doing an X Files podcast, mm-hmm. and yeah. it was really fun because he'd go like episode by episode. But it was really fun because uh, he, what he would do is go to like ancient like forum postings in like the nineties, and like he would just grab some like comments from the threads, and like it's just hilarious hearing like people from like two decades ago talking about a show uh, yeah that's like in season one like the, the they were like whoa this this x-files show is pretty interesting yeah i, I think that's always uh, interesting when people go into like old internet stuff to kind of see what people's opinion was of the time you know yeah. i Camille love Nangiani, it since you mentioned Camille Nangiani, uh i just have to mention he was on this one episode of this other other podcast uh and they were talking about ufos and like Apparently in California, there's this one place where you can pray for UFOs and they'll show up. <laughs> oh my god! Uh, should, oh god! Where fuck? in California? Did they say? It's in uh, something rock, some Oof. something rock place. And there's like a kind of skeptic guy and like a guy who goes all in on it. And they both went to this place and they prayed for them. And they and then the guy who was like a skeptic was like, "Yeah, I saw him." <laughs> and Camille was like, "What?" The <laughs> <Yes. saw> <laughs> And he's like, yeah, it's like, yeah, it looked like a point in the sky. I don't know what it was. I saw it though. It was I like, wonder. <laughs> this is some fucking like he's literally Scully. There's a lot like, of like crazy Scully. UFO cults. This is like some like fucking like nope type shit where they're going to the spot and they think they're spotting UFOs, but it's like a fucking cloud monster. <laughs> I had a uh, yeah, I had a um, I found what it was called, and there was like videos about like going to the place and praying for the UFOs to summon them, which that's, may or may not work. That's cool. That's That'd be cool. like a Eagle Rock. Yeah, it's called Eagle Rock. Rock. That'd be a cool premise for like a okay. for a story. I think you know. 
right um rock. Well, earlier when it's... earlier you guys mentioned the fucking like dna ancestry thing it'd be funny if there was like a comic where like it's like the lab where they do that and they're all and then it's like ding it's like oh shit we got another one and they go into a secret room and they chart down and it's like uh, it's like you know how it's like it's like a secret DNA they keep finding. It's like, what the fuck does this mean? I don't know what the punchline is. Like, either it'd be like they keep finding like purple people DNA or something, or like yeah, some like some people. weird made up. <laughs> oh wait, what if it's like the grimace DNA? They keep finding grimace, and they, like some people are a little <laughs> bit more grimace than others. <laughs> I mean, that's that's literally Attack on Titan. <laughs> oh, he turns into Grimace. He, <laughs> he turns into it's Grimace. Attack on Titan. Bro, bro just described Attack on Titan. <laughs> oh my God! You know, speaking of um, speaking of like cheesy Manfredo ripping off something, I, I've been yeah. I've been caught twice this past week for accidentally ripping off a th- a couple things. Oh, no. What the Accident. fuck? Really? Yeah. Well, okay, not a rip off, but like kind of like wow, that joke I came up with was actually very similar to a joke from like years ago right because um mm-hmm. i had this i had this one joke let me uh, you guys remember my you guys remember my iconic Jesus classic one joke yeah, my one joke that i repeat do you remember my iconic piss wizard comic yeah I rec- well, well, well wait yeah i think i know what you're talking about now i yeah, think so there's like a there's a casey green like there's a comic. casey green comic like this right but um there it, it has like a it has like a piss wizard he's called the wizard right <laughs> which is a little too clever that i didn't use it but um yeah. the punchlines are different because his is all about like his is all about like fetishes right because mm-hmm. like oh the piss wizard is a fetish in his comic right dare and, you enter my magical realm and my comedy is just like a stupid thing i said to a to a buddy because we were like uh, most of my jokes are just like i had a conversation with someone and i'm like what if this thing really stupid thing happened instead yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right so that that's strike one that's strike one for cheesy but strike two happened recently so on um, because i'm a big twitter artist now i'm being followed by other bigger people i got followed by chris wilson which is one of the oh one of God. the cyanide and happiness guys um, right why wait what happened why are you why are you suddenly big twitter artist what happened um, you've been growing i've been growing dude my fucking comments what did you do i um just yeah. just doing the little shit post comics have been have been pretty good yeah. for my numbers um people like oh, artists yeah. he's been on artist growth hormone yeah, yeah. yeah. i fucking um <laughs> he's doing that, numbers. i think that flingus comic like made me hit the 10k not gonna lie Pretty sure I know what that is. You don't know. Oh my god! You ever read Flingus? You don't know Flingus. You know Flingus. Flingus. Spark. Oh my god! You're breaking my heart. Right it's now. all the rage know. in America right you now. You don't know Flingus. Flingus mania is taking off. I don't know Flingus. Himself. You have Everybody's not. Read, you have not seen. Flingus. Oh my god. Fling, Flingus. Sorry. I you haven't seen this comic. This is the comic I made. Flingus. Oh, I did see this. Yeah. There yeah. you go. Yeah. Flingus. I was right. talking to my kids. I didn't get it, so I didn't say. We gotta go see Flingus. <laughs> this was also another premise i came in a voice call where i was like what if like uh what if like an intro I vaguely, yeah i remember this <laughs> what is this i like how grotesque he looks at i it, i think this is fucking awesome because it's like what if he just like i don't know just squeezes his head and it fucking I pops we talking about like <laughs> i like this one something. cheesy this yeah like this one's pretty I, I assume good. this is based on the elmo thing uh no actually i didn't even think of that i was trying to think of like what if like there was like a i think you should leave style skit that was like kind of gory i guess but I guess it could be subconscious, subconsciously like Larry David trying to fucking kill Elmo. <laughs> yeah. That right. might have been that might have that it might have sprung off from like me talking about wanting to like crucify Arlo or something. <laughs> actually, <laughs> actually, yeah, you're probably right because yeah. like I um like back in like like maybe 2 years ago I did a joke about um uh, <laughs> nice <laughs> primordial ghoulers. the, the ghoulers. i'm up into hey, primordial before you, before you continue is there is there like a quick thing to mute your audacity recording so that audio doesn't pick up on it is that it is that a thing like a, a button to press oh well, you can no it but you can uh, slide a slider down on your um monitor for the audio i would just remember what the blip was and then you can just go I over I it oh wait I, I, there is mute. mute there's a button for mute shift yeah, you I, Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, shift you. I don't know if that'll actually like stop it recording, but I'm gonna try this well, while I, I work. I think maybe like you could just go over it after the recording's done and then just hit like um. Yeah, I, I could definitely do that, but I mm. I need to not have a. Okay, never mind. I'll figure <laughs> it out. 
<laughs> all right, all right, all right. Well, um, I'm talking about this other example. So, um, yeah, I got followed by Chris Wilson. Of uh, right. Also earlier, well, fuck, Proto, did you say, like, why are you getting so big now? Man, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I don't remember saying that. It was, he turned was it around you? and Cheesy it was, was huge. It was filling the whole room. Like, when Cheesy was expanding, his stomach was getting bigger and bigger, and it was just filling the room, and I was getting crushed under his massive weight. <laughs> I was just getting, I was getting like hotter and hotter as I was watching it. <laughs> yeah, so, um, so basically, Chris Wilson, one of the founders of Cyanide and Happiness, like DM me. Um, he DMs me my, Uh-oh. yeah, he DMs me one of my own comics. He DMs me this one with the guy where he's all like, I fucking hate my wife, and then everyone boos him. And he's like, I mean, I fucking hate white women, and everyone cheers, and he's all like, oh, <laughs> it, right? So, yeah. so Chris Wilson DMs me that comic says like. I'm glad I'm not the only person who noticed this. Then he DMs me a comic he made, right? Oh. Right, but oh. it, it has the same punchline, but it has oh, a damn. different setup. Like, women sure are crazy, am I right? Oh, that's awesome. White women sure are crazy, am I right? Okay. You know, <laughs> oh my god, that's so funny. Yeah. That's different that is, enough. That's you, different enough. It's the, same, yeah. it's the same punchline, but it's like um, just a different setup. But like, yeah. It's, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and, the, and I mean, you 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 could both come up with this idea. Nobody had to rip off. Anything. Yeah, it's a pretty. I I feel so weird when it comes to like little gags. He, like this he's like chill like, about it. They're though. so he's not easy mad. to come up yeah. with. Yeah, oh, okay. Easy. As long as he's not mad. At yeah, me. he was probably like, all right, finally a fellow white woman hater. Oh, my brother in arms. Oh. <laughs> he's like, I, I'll be real with you, cheesy. I was only putting that feeler out just to. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad to see I'm not the only right fucking there. one, cheesy. I'm glad we're brothers in arms. <laughs> <laughs> honestly i would say that i would say i'm exonerating you like it's so it's totally different like like the the punchline is kind of the same but like everything leading up to it's totally different like his reaction versus like your character's mm-hmm. reaction like i'm exonerating cheesy here mm-hmm. thank you yeah well well chris wasn't mad or anything and i mean I, i'm surprised people haven't called me out for the for oh, the he, jokes i did he told me he he told me he was furious. <laughs> told me to <laughs> shit himself. <laughs> yeah, shit search himself cheesy with the Fredo on the um, explosive forum. He DM'd me and he was like, he, "I don't mean he it." He told me that. I don't mean it. I need he you. Told, on he the told. He told the. Uh, he he told he told Penny Arcade to not fuck with you. <laughs> 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 he went to the he went to the fucking web comic <laughs> top authority. The, the old guard, the old guard meeting. <laughs> wow, really? This I cheesy man Fredo guy. is a problem. <laughs> Thanks for letting me know. I fucking um like, like I'm surprised no one called me out for like this one. This was just like a TikTok audio I stole, like just word for word. I love this one. It's this so one's funny. really great. This one's so great they stole the design and put it on a shirt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So I'm mm. I'm reaching like uh, I'm reaching some milestones for uh, web comics. That's awesome. Right? Mm. It's pretty great. It's pretty yeah. fucking great. Um, I haven't done any like new. I just been. And what's also awesome is that like once I hit the 10k, I just started reposting old comics, and that's making me bump up. Yeah. Too right. I saw you post it. One of my favorite cheesy comics ever. Oh, we can hear you. Um. <laughs> One of my favorite cheesy comics ever is the the black friend. Like I have black friends, I keep them in my pencil that's, uh, case. And that's I sh- an old and gold. <laughs> that's like one of my ultimate favorite. I I think that's like the funniest comic. She has never to topped that comic. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Take your time. <laughs> that one's actually a little too real. Like, when am I getting out of the pencil case? When you, uh, when you, <laughs> when you fix like, this damn door. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god um, my favorites is, of yours lately are the cursed sword and oh yeah this is this is like an older one but like i like i like mordecai and rigby having gay sex that one's great that yeah, one is really one. funny that one is what's funny is how like to work. <laughs> what's funny is how people are very aggressive towards that one because they're like oh i didn't need to fucking see this oh what the fuck dude fuck you <laughs> you do that you're fuck not you. you're not going to heaven dude Rigby has a girlfriend. He has a canonical girlfriend. You're having him have gay butt sex. This is harder. This is harder to find than I thought it was. I feel I'm like she like would be okay with it. Images. Do you, I want to. I just wanted to see your comic, and I'm seeing unfortunate like actual porn images. Damn, <laughs> you were typing in a uh, regular show Yaoi. <laughs> I'm just going. I literally typed in what you think I. Typed I'm going in. through these and like looking at them and like, oh yeah, I remember. I remember being in the room for this one. And then, mm-hmm, uh, mm-hmm. 
I, I gotta I gotta I was in the room when I'm it running happened. out of like comics to like repost so I gotta make a couple more there, there's one I think I mentioned it before it was like called Millennial Jester yeah. where there was like a, it was like a king and he's all like entertain me millennial jester and then the, the jester is just like looking at his phone he's, he's like just looking at his phone yeah he's like uh, uh check out this tweet and he just shows it to the king <laughs> and the king looks and then he laughs he's like whoa this, man. <laughs> and then he's like guards kill the millennial jester <laughs> this <is> the <laughs> Uh, I really love this like early season one Mordecai <laughs> face in this. In this yeah, yeah thank, I'm, I'm glad. Cheeks. I'm glad you spotted that. Yeah, that was on purpose. <laughs> I, I love that. Like Did, oh, this was so like funny. a combination. There's like one guy who's like famous for drawing like the Mordecai Yaoi stuff, and uh, Mordecai and Rigby. Yeah, ego, no, ego raptor, ego right? Raptor, yeah, who ego? follows me too, by the way? But uh, won't reply to my DMs. <laughs> <laughs> he's just keeping an eye on you in case you didn't ah, yeah in case you, you didn't know. know there's more guys in my dm <laughs> <laughs> epic epic but yeah um there was like a one guy who was really like popular for drawing like mordecai and rigby yaoi and i read a little i feel like i feel like i i not to yeah, nitpick, shit. not to nitpick yaoi i i can't find it <laughs> because I, I i saw the one comic he posted and um, I I don't know I I thought it was not accurate to the characters, and I'm like if you're gonna make like Mordecai and Rigby Yaoi at least make it like accurate. And I, coincidentally at the same time I was rewatching the the whole show, right? Yeah. And I'm like yeah if they were having gay sex they would make one of those little stupid white boy raps they make. Yeah. <laughs> you're bouncing in my butthole. I'm about to be in trouble. <laughs> 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 right exactly exactly oh like yeah that's that's how they would do it but like you know they, they wouldn't do this fucking I, I don't know i don't know people love their melodramatic stuff in yaoi I, who, who am i to fucking judge right yeah. um i'm happy that one got popular because i originally posted that on my nsfw one and i got no traction you should do another one of these, but they they get stuck, and then like Skips comes in, and he's like, "I've seen this before." <laughs> <laughs> I, see this. Yeah. I I saw people I like can't get out. <laughs> I saw people coming up with I've like, seen this before. <laughs> I saw people in the comment section say like jokes similar to that, like they activate the gay god because they didn't they didn't finish the gay sex. <laughs> 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 I, I like the one where it's like because I, I, I will see if I were to if I were to draw one more panel, I would do like muscle man being like you know who else has gay sex (laughs) 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 that that'd be that that'd be that'd be the fucking one um another one i had i might do these two right after this podcast is over just so i could like you know so just just so i don't leave people high and dry just so you know if you don't post up something for a week people think you're dead right right I had another one idea where it was like a guy who goes into the room. He's like, oh, did you guys just hear the news? And another guy turns around and says like, what news? A guy who's famous for drawing Vegeta pregnant. <laughs> and he and oh, he yeah, says, yeah. he says like, Akira Toriyama passed away. I got to draw some art in memory of him. And the other guy says like, you don't have to. <laughs> yeah, you gotta do that. You gotta do that, dude. You could, yeah. you could take a break. You could grieve. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god uh, yeah that those those will be those will be the ones i i re-listen to my podcast just to remind myself of these comic ideas because i don't write them down uh, i'm very much like just heat of the moment you know with these fucking that's how ideas. it works for these what were you calling them again like I, dick comics <laughs> i call them fart <laughs> comics fart comics. i don't know if i should like fart I, comics. I personally call them fart comics but i don't know if i should brand it brand yeah it up. probably should not be the brand because like i don't want people to like no you should call them oh, makes fart com- oh cheesy Alfredo makes fart comics okay cool <laughs> <laughs> i don't want to get the wrong idea yeah. <laughs> about so, me uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. When the YouTube retrospective drops, the uh, thumbnail will say the stinkiest comic artist. <laughs> you know, in my corner of the internet, we used to call them brap comics. <laughs> cheesy brap Fredo. <laughs> brap Stink- Fredo. Stinky cheesy man Fredo. That's going to be my NSFW all for my brap yeah. comics. <laughs> <laughs> oh no oh, i hate this i don't want to be I, i've never that's my 
is my fucking look into the mirror and then you see your evil future self. <laughs> <laughs> fart fetishes, man, Fredo. All right, okay, enough about mm-hmm. fart fetishes. Let's talk about other sick fuck shit. You guys been um, you guys seen the the new documentary about fucking I Nickelodeon, did. the Quiet On yeah. Set one? Yeah, I saw it. I've been um, avoiding it. Really. Someone invited me to watch, and I'm like, mm, is Jeanette McCurdy there's in not, it? No? There's not too much okay. meat in it. I, I'd like say... You can, you can pretty much understand it just from, like, a conversation. I'd say the only meteor part are probably maybe, like, the second and third episode are probably, like, the meteor part. Yeah. Yeah. Right? The whole... The, the uh, Drake it's more than one episode. There's, there's four. It's four episodes. Like 40 in total, it's just, like, two hours. You can pretty much just like skip the right. first two, honestly. Well, like, like they they like you know it, it's it, a lot of it is kind of like the following of Dan Schneider through like yeah. um through his time at Nickelodeon and he's like the golden child. Um, Some of the earlier shit really sucks. Like he makes the two women writers like share a paycheck. Which yeah, is, like illegal, insane. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. He wasn't supposed to do that. That's fucking. He would crazy. make them do like embarrassing shit in front of all the male yeah. like writers too. Right? Yeah, pretend you're getting wow. like sodomized or whatever. And and Dan Schneider would do a lot of like fire women employees and replace them with like inexperienced like guys, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah some of these sound like my favorite uh, unlisted. You can no longer watch them. Uh, college humor sketches. <laughs> <laughs> yeah that uh, dance night was inspiration for that i think the most like egregious stuff is like uh what drake bell says uh which is like uh it's not stuff i necessarily want to repeat on this podcast but that shit fucked me up oh right? that shit is terrible because um, although i have been seeing people talk and we completely like we kind of forget about the fact that he um i mean he was like, he was like co- having conversations with like a young girl um it was like a it was like a 12 or like a 15 year old. Yeah. He, I forget which. He, he has like his own allegations, which is kind of like that, that like fucking sucks. Yeah. Right. But, um, yeah. And doesn't like, you know, just course, cause he got fucking assaulted. Is, yeah. What he went through was freaking yeah. fucking like, awful. that shit is horrible. His dad, like, Oh my God. Is, I, like, let me, let's, let's go back to kind of like the start of it. I'm not going to like fully yeah, go into yeah. details, but basically like, you know, he, he, his, um, his dad recently divorced, um, him and they're trying to find activities to kind of do together and they go to like an audition and whatnot and that kind of like is yeah, the start of like drake's like kind of childhood career drake right. likes old hollywood stuff so he's like <laughs> yeah you, you want to do like hall you want to uh, be an actor we can do that let's do that <laughs> you like old hollywood stuff you should be a child actor <laughs> but um it, what's uh yeah. what happens is that yeah he becomes like pretty popular his dad's like his manager and then there's this other guy was like a PA or something like he, he kinda... he's like a he's like Drake's he he was a PA at first I think he becomes Drake's line director I believe yeah basically uh, and um his, his name is like Brian Peck and this guy has like Jesus Christ this guy had like so many like pedophile red flags yeah right like he's his like his 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 little like nickname on set was the pickle man no no what? That, was, that was that was his nickname that was like a character he would play and all that oh shit yeah never mind, uh, never mind. yeah okay because well, let me explain the story let me let me okay, <laughs> let me right. let me let me talk about the childhood the childhood assault <laughs> story because i'm a childhood assault expert okay <laughs> but um basically yeah so um this this brian peck guy had like a bunch of pedophile red flags he was also pen pals with fucking John Wayne, John Wayne Gacy. That shit was so yeah, The fact that he said that so brazenly to like a child. Too, right. Like, yep. John Wayne this, Gacy. It's a fucking <laughs> pedophile like cinematic universe. Yeah. Like unironically. And um, I'm sure like the conservative people who are like all of Hollywood is literally pedophilia. Pedowood. Like, Pedowood. Yeah, every yeah, like. Yeah. Yeah, it's always kind of dumb because it's like every like major industry with like powerful men in positions of power are are like yeah they're abusing their power you know so you're gonna get a lot of like pedophiles. This isn't just like a Hollywood thing, you know? Yeah, right. Yeah. It's Hollywood is only more visible just because I mean it's like yeah it's all entertainment. It's for them. It's for the masses. Right. Exactly. So this like Brian Peck guy like does everything to kind of move like Drake's father out of the picture and like get some, he gets like a, a younger Drake and Drake's like mom to kind of like go yeah, against he plays, him. Yeah, he plays his mom against his uh, dad. 
It's like, oh, your dad's we, stealing money from you. Yeah, which that's like, which is like not true because I think they yeah, they, they, they went to court either. about that and it wasn't true. And um, I I think uh, we we never get the mom because like not gonna lie, the mom looks so bad in this story. She because, sounded pretty awful. Right, because like we were watching this, we were getting so mad. Like, look, like the. The pedophile is awful and like, you know, he should be dead and whatnot, right? But the mom was like, I don't know, not to come off too fucking anti women here. But like while while listening friendly to, reminder, we love women. We here. love women here. But like uh, <laughs> but um real main characters. Something that's like wild is that like when Brian like Peck this the, the pedo managed to convince them to like um make him the manager for Drake instead of his own father. Um, Drake's dad told his mom to like never let like Brian Peck be alone with like Drake because he was already seeing yeah. all these pedophile red flags, yeah, I, and she did not fucking right. listen. She would like let like she would let like Drake stay over at Brian's house, right? Yeah, oh, no. yeah. you could hear like the tears in his voice as he's like rec- recounting this. Yeah, because he he like, didn't even know he about feels this. So much like guilt about this. Yeah, he didn't know about this until recently. Something that's kind of like crazy is that like. Because hearing about how Drake's mom didn't really do anything, like, a part of me was thinking, like, like, the only way I could come into this in good faith is whether, like, Drake and that, Drake, um, Drake's mom and dad had such a fucking messy divorce, maybe, or Drake's mom was, like, just coked out of her mind or something, like, she better have been on drugs or something to at least, to, to have at least ignored all these, like, pedophile red flags, right? Because, um, because having, um... Having a uh, freaking uh like Drake, you know, stay over at his house like led to like you know like fucking trigger warning here. Fucking like a, Drake was assaulted like several times, yeah. right? Several times. Yeah, yeah, and it didn't it didn't stop until like um when Drake eventually got a girlfriend. He um yeah his the, girlfriend's uh, mother was realizing oh I get why you're always sleeping well no what him. well the the thing is not just that like what what happened specifically was that um Drake like he. Drake, um, this Brian Peck guy was trying to go to Disneyland alone with like Drake, right? And he kept, and Drake was like trying to ignore his call, and he kept calling him over and over again while Drake was hanging out with his girlfriend, right? And yeah. and he even ended up starting calling like her house, right? And like Drake's like girlfriend's mom was like weirded out, like what the fuck is going on, right? Because yeah. this is this is fucking weird. This is a a, a, a grown ass man shouldn't be trying to hang out with a teenage boy this hard, you know, right? Yeah. And it fucking I mean it led to like you know that um Drake's girlfriend's mom like made him go into therapy like the next day, right? And um yeah. you know he he was like holding all this in from what he says in the documentary. This is like kind of the first time he's been open about this because eventually Brian Peck does get like arrested and he has like child pornography. And Drake is brought into court, but they kept it all kind of like um, his name wasn't out in the public about it because before well, the fucked up thing is like like he he gets like acquitted and then like immediately starts to work on like Zach and Cody. well no he doesn't get acquitted he goes to jail for six years uh, oh wait fuck was that it yeah he, or he goes to jail for like eighteen months or something right he gets like eighteen yeah months. it wasn't six years it was yeah six I think years. I'm thinking of someone else but like yeah he goes to jail for eighteen months. And then instant when he gets out, he instantly gets like work on Zach and Cody, right? And that becomes like a whole controversy yeah. on itself, right? But it's also James James Mar- Marsden defended that guy, and if we can get him canceled, <laughs> so I don't have to see him in Sonic Three, well, that'd be uh, really cool. Please. Well, what what happened yeah, specifically happened. was that like um, when when they went to court, um, because this Brian Peck guy is like is like a, a uh, an industry veteran, right? So he's on yeah. different productions, right? So he's friends with a lot of people. Yeah, and, his 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 one thing is like I I trained Leo I I I, I trained Leo DiCaprio. Yeah, so oh, basically, no. you know, you know when like someone is like brought to court. Do so you remember like a couple months ago when uh, that one guy from the '70s show was like you know, um, he got fucking rape allegations and he went to jail and then he had all those like letters from people supporting him because it's like I forget what the letters are called, but like they're usually like letters given to the judge by friends of the people who are like are getting charged to try to kind of like yeah. let, at least like get the friend side to like convince the judge and like you know this brian peck guy he got that too and one of the people was james marsden right yeah. and for people who don't know james there's, marsden there's several other people yeah too. for people who don't know who james marsden is he's the fucking like he's like sonic dad he's sonic's dad in the fucking live action he's cyclops movie. in those those uh, x-men movies um 
yeah. Right. So Brian Peck was like, well, like, you know, he, he had his fucking friends and whatnot. Right. And like this whole, like, I, I skip over a lot of fucking details because I, I don't know if I want to recommend people to watch this because I think. I'm, you pretty much oh, I won't, don't worry. You pretty much get the gist of it. I think I like I gave like the bits that were kind of like the most like fucking like craziest shit about the documentary because I I think what's kind of like I hate to say like what sucks is that like Dan Schneider doesn't have any hardcore allegations. Yeah, there there's nothing like really implicate Drake at one point saying like uh uh, Dan Schneider was like the only one who had my back. So like, it, Dan Schneider was like the only one who like kind of pinpointed that like because no one else could people they they knew about Brian Peck and uh, they knew he got arrested but they don't know who he assaulted right and like Dan Dan Schneider is like was the one who first who like instantly knew it was like Drake right and like yeah. I don't know like no nothing about like I I think the worst thing we could say about Dan Schneider is that he was like incredibly creepy. He abused his power a lot on set, right, and in the writers' room. Yeah. But that's like the most we have on him, right? And like, I, I still think I'm being conspiratorial with, with the I Amanda still Bynes. Think he probably Amanda Bynes, or maybe even there's like this whole conspiratorial thing that like he fathered. Uh, what's who's Britney's uh, sister? Oh, well, I forget Zoe? her name. Some yeah, something Spears. Yeah. I forgot her fucking. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But yeah, I know that's another conspiracy theory. But the thing is that like yeah, I, I, we have like nothing that like aside yeah, from like no Dan Snyder stuff. being like just an awful piece of shit, and he looks like the most pedophile looking guy on the planet. Yeah, there's there's like no being like serious like it's, at that it's level. It's really impressive that he has that bowl cut still. Right, exactly. I guess you know, that's the, why like everything's just been rumors. Right, yeah. exactly. Because really, there's actually been nothing. That's so weird. Did you? Did you see crazy. how he looks like now? <laughs> I don't want to. He has like a goatee yeah. now or something, right? He fucking, he fucking yeah. like has. Yeah, he looks like the fucking dad from uh from fucking uh, Freddy Gets Finger. <laughs> he has like a fucking beard, like a full beard, <laughs> right? It's like, damn, no way, not. He swapped places with the uh, evil dimension version of himself. Oh. Yeah, nah, <laughs> nah. I'm, I'm look. I'm pulling up the picture. And I'm pulling up the picture now because it's fucking like. Cause it, I first when I saw it, I'm like, that's not him. <laughs> that does not look like him. But <laughs> God, yeah, this like, oh my right? God, oh my God. Right, here I go. Get ready for a jump scare. Uh, Dan Snyder. Get like a little that's, barf bucket. Yeah, he was like interviewed. That's a really. Why did you make me look? Yeah, he was. He has the Jacob Geller blowjob. <laughs> oh, I was just about. I was just about to say the beer really uh, accentuates how I, crazy that will now be attributed. Are. I don't think I've said that on video, so that's that's now attributed <laughs> to you, Protus. <laughs> Jacob Geller. <laughs> no, uh, that's a spork original. Time to shave, my guy. The beard, it's over. He's got like Look the at kind this. of. He's got the kind of eyes that you only see in like European gay porn. Yeah, you know, how come like? Uh, <laughs> 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 All right. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, because because he's an expert on that. What's um? What's is it with like guys who get canceled and they grow a beard? Like, <laughs> I'm gonna grow a beard. <laughs> That's the strat. It's a th- it's a guy move. It's the right, exactly. Yeah. I'm gonna be the first yeah, I had guy to a beard get... for a while, but I wasn't canceled. I'll be the f- I need to see pro Jer just practicing. <laughs> he should grow a beard. He should grow a beard. Fucking did another guy get fucking canceled recently? Mandela catalog guy should grow a beard. Um, yeah. Uh, um, the completionist. He, completionist. He should cancel. He should. He, he's famous for his beard. Dude? Um, we didn't. We didn't I, mention I that it. Pro Jared wears a shirt that says "canceled" on it. <laughs> he sells oh that shirt. Gosh. You could buy it. It looks like his head is photoshopped on his body. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like a he looks like a sickly yeah. orphan. Yeah. I think I'll buy that shirt. That looks cool. Yeah. <laughs> sure, it goes kind of hard. <laughs> did you? Did it would be really hilarious if his dick was in one of these photos. <laughs> did, you read the, did you read the Mandela catalog thing? Um, I did. I didn't. I, I just heard people memeing I about did. it. Like he, he. Okay, he did not do any pedophilia. So if anybody says that, okay, Oof. he did not. Mm. He is just abusive well, in was... relationships and, okay. and weird and manipulative and shit. I think. Um, I think when like someone gets canceled for being, I don't know, like, like what's the <laughs> what's like the level of tolerance of abuse can you take for someone getting canceled? <laughs> I will not be describing the level on this podcast. No, th- no, this is a hypothetical. <laughs> Don't answer that. But 
Um, because sometimes like I hear about some of them and I'm like, I, I don't know. This seems like a like a them. Like this is this should have been kept private. Like I'm gonna I don't refrain know. from this conversation. Just <laughs> my future record. Okay, like yeah, like when, I mean, okay when like creative people like they get they cheat on their significant other. I don't really care too much. I don't care. You know. Who that is so that. fucking dumb. I I really hate. Yeah, I really hate when people are like, "Oh, he cheated." It's like, all right. If I Super like, Mario Brothers Z, he movies. cheated on his wife. I don't care. Like, you know. <laughs> yeah, like I don't. I just don't. I don't mm-hmm. give a shit. Like, I think no, it was funny. To me, that's like people shout on like Joss Whedon. That was like <laughs> there was like a weird like Joss Whedon bandwagoning thing that was happening a few years ago where it was like, "Oh, he cheated on his wife," and other people were like, "Yeah, he was like kind of weird with women on set." And it's like, is that yeah. it? Like. I think what's I think what's is more that, evil that is that kid else? he killed when he was a kid. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know that story? He like said he said in an no. interview. He's all like, yeah, like I think he saw a kid drown and he do didn't do nothing or something. I don't think that. I don't think he. <laughs> he joins Matthew Broderick in like wow. a celebrity. Oh, oh these are very different. Like, here's an example no, that no, I was played. linked this morning. <laughs> this uh, streamer is like. Oh, uh, I can't believe this. This guy is awful, terrible. And uh, the whole of the allegations is that um, the guy is also a streamer. And so he was doing like stream collabs with other streamers. And then one time they were hanging out. And he, I do believe he might be a piece of shit because he's described as going over the line, but it's not rape. And it's one of those things where it's like, uh, everyone involved in the party was like, you know, doing the flirt thing and then, oh, you flirt back and then you don't like uh, cut someone off when they go too far. And people were getting really up in arms about it, going crazy, like, oh, we've got to kill this guy. And I'm like, no, just stop supporting him. Uh, he obviously sucks. Yeah, I'm going to be honest, like the Aziz Ansari thing felt really weird. Mm-hmm. too. Oh, I remember mm-hmm. that. Yeah, I think um, I think people got like over that pretty well. Fuck, I'm, I'm looking it up. He kind of, he that? kind of, I'm just a little guy. His way out of it. It sounds like there, there was just like a lot of like hey. miscommunications. I think there are like still like Aziz on sorry haters out there. Okay. Hey, what's up? I'm Aziz. At the now. age of five, a friend, age four, died by drowning in the pond on the Whedon's upstate property. <laughs> okay. I think yeah. So when he was five, he saw like another kid drown. Yeah. So he's five yeah, years old. Really <laughs> Can't, cancel that five year old. Look, look, I was just being funny. I was doing the uh, fucking uh, John Lennon beat his wife bit, guys. I'm sorry. I take it back. What's funny about John Lennon beating his wife, Cheesy? <laughs> <laughs> Explain to the class, Cheesy. What, what's so funny about that? <laughs> I found an incredible uh, Facebook page from a few years ago called Joss Whedon's Drowning Child. <laughs> <Instagram account. laughs> and this guy is literally like fighting a, a one man war trying to get him like arrested. But look, okay, at he was like five. I think five year olds should be allowed to murder people. I think it. Look at this meme. Look look at this meme and tell me this is not fucking golden. Would so rather be there to than go swimming with Jaws. You guys are just going to find that name. HD where it rains this, glass. This guy knew the kid. This guy knew the kid who died. Yeah. You, you think so? That's insane. Yeah, this, this, the guy life. who made this totally knew that kid. Yeah, he's this still is, mad at Joss Whedon for letting him die. This is like a plot line in fucking Sherlock. Where like he like there's like a where he's all like you remember seeing like a dog drown but it it turns out it was like his evil sister mind controlled them he really saw one of his yeah. friends drown right yeah. yeah that was epic Josh remember Whedon, Sherlock you cried a lot in the infirmary I really hated I hate that you. season oh. <laughs> my name is Broly <laughs> my name is Broly <laughs> God imagine having like a beef that started when you were like not even one. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god that'd be fucking epic um joss we come down on the podcast we'll uh, we'll chat yeah. we'll talk buddy we'll talk you can write for um our productions mm-hmm. right yeah you. Um, you get to share an office with uh max landis over there they should they should rap they should like oh. rap battle 
that could have that could have been like if <laughs> the epic rap battles of canceled artists. Yeah, if uh, if Max Landis like pops up again, I'll just redraw my like epic rap battles of history and replace Josh Justin Roiland with like Max Landis, <laughs> and just to keep it kind of topical, you know. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> All right, guys. We're like at the two-hour mark. Anything? Anything else you guys want to talk about before we wrap up this fiftieth uh, episode no. special? Well, you and I. Well, not you and I together, but do you want to talk about uh, um, fucking uh, Grotto Beast? No, it's uh, b- behind the bastards. I I listened to all of that for um, Steve. Jones, oh, I did so too. Yeah, I listened to. Yeah, I just yeah. I found a new podcast that I like. Uh, I've been yeah. I've been on the hunt for looking for podcasts that don't have people that I know in them. We're we're at the <laughs> section of the podcast where we talk about other podcasts. Well, like I just wanted to, um, I I really like this I I listened to all their episodes. It's pretty good. It's, it's pretty good. It's a podcast called Behind the Bastards and they just talk about like awful people and they you know go through their whole like biography. And I listened to the Steve Jobs one and that, I thought that one was pretty good. Um, it's crazy. Like he he like cries to like get what he wants oh, yeah. in like board meetings. I also like how he's like <laughs> probably the only rich guy to get like a fucking like. Sh- he gets a karmic end. Yeah, he gets a his hubris is what kills him in the end, and I'm like, yeah. that's so cool. I wish that would happen more often, you know. Yeah, that would be so awesome. That's why, like, well, mm, do you think do you think Elon Musk dying in one of his like shitty cars would be like cool, or maybe they would like think? I, w- like, I want him to. Be- oh, he really he really took one for the team. I really want him to <laughs> for science. <laughs> There's gotta be like it's gotta be like um, like he uh like the 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 driver tester guy isn't there so Elon's like fuck it I'll do it because I'm base and then it blows up. Fuck it I'll do it I am base. I'm <laughs> Elon Musk. That'd be so cool. <laughs> that'd be that'd be so cool. See that was the problem with Kira and Death Note. He was just giving everyone heart attacks. He should have been giving them like very unique ass deaths. <laughs> Like every time, I'm suddenly recalling well, if, the thing where uh, they smashed a bottle on the cyber truck or something. If I had like, the death note, I would be. I'd be yeah. hitting everybody with lightning. So <laughs> really they think it's like God. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that'd be really epic. Oh, man, I think the I don't want to talk about another podcast on this podcast, but I think the the bit that I really like the most from this from the Steve Jobs coverage was everything with his daughter because i think all that shit's fucked um yeah oh my god that he has he's like it's not specifically his daughter but like like a friend of theirs it's like a seven-year-old and like the seven-year-old oh, yeah. doesn't like know, know them <laughs> and steve jobs is like really shitty if you order like meat in front of him he's a vegetarian but like obvi- oh, no. obviously like this the seven-year-old doesn't know that about steve jobs <laughs> yeah so it's like the Steve, like she orders a burger, and Steve Jobs is like, "You rude little pig!" Does anyone, does anyone <laughs> ever tell you? <laughs> yeah, that's. Suck? Oh my, oh my god. god! Yeah, that you have such an obnoxious awesome. little voice. You rude it, little it pig. It sounds like a fucking. Uh, I think you should leave. Bit where it's like grown ass <laughs> man yelling at like, you, rude little fucking pig like to the fucking six-year-old <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> but um i think the one bit with the with his daughter that like i thought like that's like beyond like fucked is um like when he got he got this woman pregnant and um he would keep denying that's not his and um it turns out later that um he um he talked to some because he was like into like eastern like mysticism type stuff and um he talked to a shaman and this shaman like told him that if the if the child is born a boy he has to raise it because that's like destiny <laughs> you know but if the child is born a girl you have no obligations right and then the, the, it was born you know a girl right and um yeah. you know that's steve jobs kept denying that that was you know his daughter until eventually the state of california like heard that the mother of the child was on welfare and they're all like but but that's the child of steve jobs you know he's Jobs. he's got to be paying for that so they sued steve right they made him take a dna test when he was like really early yeah like like, it was like 1994 I believe. yeah it's like one of the earlier instances of using dna tests for this kind of stuff right and it was like yeah. um it was like 94 percentage of like how yeah. like close you could get it right which is still pretty was, fucking good right yeah and it was it was the highest percent possible. Like, yeah, and right? and so what Steve did was that he like rushed the process about about like um getting the child support, 
because um, four days after they approved how much he had to pay for child support, the Apple went public. And, yeah. and they knew that he would have to pay more if they went public before everything got approved, right? Oh, you know, yeah. so he, like, had to rush through all that. And um, his daughter, Lisa, who, like, became, like, a very, a very, like, famous writer, she uh, she talked about, like, her first instance of, like, first memory of meeting Steve Jobs. And when she does, Steve, Steve is like, oh, I'm your dad. I'm going to be the most, the most important, important person. person. In yeah, your life, yeah, you, you the, ever meet. you'll ever meet in your life, because you come, cause you come on, because you come on. Yeah. I was talking, come on, man. <laughs> Sorry, I thought, Do I thought not we had, like, steal cheesy thing. story. He has to be the I one thought, to tell it. I'm the main character. Thought, this is I my syndrome. Was, like, I thought it was like character. you know, in like G Gundam, where we talk at the same time, and you know, it's like in a, it's like a cool attack. Ju- or something. Julian, liquidate yeah. him now. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Turn him into goo. <laughs> If I don't do it to you, then he'll do it to me. <laughs> he'll turn he'll turn me into goo. <laughs> there you go. That's what you get. That's what you get. You get turned into goo. <laughs> All right, I'm sorry. I'm hitting him. I'm hitting him with the un, with the solidifier. So. Nice. All right. Good. I'm hitting with the I'm plasma with gun. The, so he's gonna with be the huge dick gun that gives you a, a big penis. Where Whoa. wherever I shoot it though, it doesn't make your penis bigger. It just gives you a, an extra penis. You gave me a penis <laughs> on my shoulder. Gave your penis on your nose, so it blends in. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a sponge bag. Right, exactly. Wow. All right, okay. Anything else before we wrap yeah. it up? We no. Um, no. We wrapped it up just as soon as I started my lunch. All right. Um, what do you have to say? How's Gabe? Do you guys are where the gamer gate two is about to open? I'm like, like I'm oh boy. <laughs> I hope that King Charles. I'm not is even dying. joking. You know, I really. Uh, I hope he's dead too. Dying in Gamergate. Oh, by the time this podcast, it's gonna be very successful. When this podcast drops, it um, he'll be dead. Yeah, I think Gamer. I feel like I don't even see anyone really talking about Gamergate. I don't too. think you can. They're, I don't think you can do a Gamergate too. I don't know if that's. Yeah, really it, possible. it, you it wouldn't work anymore. It's all. All of it's around this. Um, have you yeah, heard about Sweet I'm Baby? Sweet Baby Ink. Like, I've seen 15 videos about Sweet Baby Ink. <laughs> it's driving me crazy. I, like also pretty good barbecue. I don't want it to happen. Never left, so it's like there's no there's no new. Um, the only people, around. yeah, the, it's like the only the grifters are really interested in that because like that's how they make money, you know. Like oh, we used to make like, more oh, money during game. So yeah. Be so much, so much. It would just be like back when we were so angry about everything and everything. It's like you're still angry about the same things. Yeah. One of those videos started with an a entire we new didn't generation. start the fire parody, and I felt like I had time traveled, and it was, <laughs> it was gross. It's a. Uh, I think the issue is that uh, there's a whole new generation of of young idiots that are going to uh, fall for all these and be like, "What? They're trying to take the sex out of my Japanese video games?" But that's the whole point. You, I th- you. I don't think you really know how fucked up a lot of the those kids already are. Look, I don't think this Gamer is not Gate. Gonna be anything new. They grew I, up on Roblox. I don't think Gamergate Two is gonna happen because we have we have people like Hassan to to stop them. All right, we didn't. <laughs> no. Hassan. Well, Hassan, Hassan, Hassan was there. Hassan's gonna Hassan be, Hassan be the new Thunderfoot. Hassan's Hassan, the new Thunderfoot. Uh, yeah, we're gonna get Hassan, Vosh, Destiny, Keffels. They're, they're assembly the team. <laughs> uh, <laughs> this, this feels just, like a 2018. Okay, tweet you know, we're like editing. <laughs> them all onto like end game <laughs> right yeah like, Hassan, Hassan is like captain Turk turkey and a uh, fucking um captain turkey fucking destiny is iron man and they're fucking make mm. wash the hawk <laughs> Kefels is blackwood <laughs> oh my god <laughs> but I, think, I think they can do it it's a ragtag bunch but i think they can do it. well like yeah. two of them have got canceled really fucking hard and their like content has been slowing down uh, and the other one is Vosh. Well, <laughs> <laughs> and it seems like it seems like the tide has really been turning against Destiny because he's going like full on Zionist. Right? Oh, that shit is I'm surprised like, it's taken Destiny's this long. Destiny's fucking he's sucked forever. Yeah, yeah he's, he's, so he's been sucking forever. Yeah, he has. Um, and fucking that, that, that clip I see going around with him uh, debating normal Norman Finkelstein. Yeah, that was a fucking that was pretty funny. funny. I'm not following Did, what the fuck is up with his beard in that? He has like this like massive like uh, like unshaven patch. <laughs> yeah, there are. I saw somebody somebody like like 
zoom in on it and point out like Gaza. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's got the cuck beard. He's, 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 the beard. he's, he's, got, the he's got the cuck beard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's all it's all it's all on Hassan. We got to revive Anita Sarkeesian. She got to come back for revenge. Hey, she's been around. Oh Anita fuck yeah! I actually season. just yeah. watched all of Feminist Frequency. I saw all of it <laughs> recently because I really kind of mid compared to Why? today, isn't it? She, yeah, unironically, like I, peop, like bread tubers, bread <laughs> tubers are good. saying like more hardcore shit it's, than what it's she really says. Nothing. She was getting destroyed for nothing. Uh. uh no, right, exactly. Nothing. And you know what? Also, another thing, she was like so cautious in those videos because every other minute she'd be like, by the way, you can still like these games. By the way, you can still like these games. It's okay. I'm not yeah. saying like, right? But like, people were kind of like, oh, just fucking bitch. You know, after I finished watching all the feminist frequency, I watched one of the reaction videos like during the time. And God, I, it's like, how do people watch this content? How do fe- people yeah. legitimately tell their friends, I watch this content where it's like a fucking guy plays like one second of an Anita video and just starts calling her like a bitch for, for just five minutes straight. And it, they don't and have any. Yeah, you, I tell this, everyone this I know too, in like back. circles where I don't know everyone. Mm-hmm. And I say, we used to make fun of people like this. Mm-hmm. Why did that stop? And then they kick me out of the store. So I, I don't think Gamergate 2 is going to go anywhere. Unless, like, the Sweet Baby Ink people do something really stupid. But I don't think... I mean, they've been fucking, around for... Fucking... What's his name? Uh, <coughs> uh, Tate. Andrew Tate. is like Gamergate Tate, times a million for young boys. It's right. not even... It's like... But, it's so bad. Yeah, you get arrested. Yeah, you got arrested you gotta, again. You, recently I think. He, uh, Again? like a friend of his did like Aiden, some like cartoon where it's all yeah. like yeah, he was, uh, he, he was gonna don't escape. tell nobody that uh, he's getting uh, we're gonna escape to Dubai escape. he's gonna escape yeah. to the, uh, and they saw that he's gonna shit. to Dubai <laughs> and they got his ass yeah this is Very just funny. so fucking like <laughs> but yeah I don't, I don't think you can really the thing is with Gamergate is it's like so coordinated but like young boys are like fucking have the, literally the, the worst role models you could ever imagine like times a thousand you can't mm-hmm. even like it's it's already going down you you know it's 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 here it's it's interesting when people talk about there being no good like male role models but i mean no they they exist you just don't think about it because you don't you don't think about spider-man because he's just always there you know <laughs> yeah <laughs> you don't think about like you don't like, think about Bosch, goku Bosch and destiny <laughs> <laughs> no, but it is. No, Spider Man is like a role model, right? Like, I'm not like I'm not fucking Spider-Man. crazy for saying that. He's not real. Oh my god, no! Like, you, you don't have to be real to be a fucking role model, dude. Yeah, um, but it, oh. I would say it's more important if they're real. Yeah. Now these yeah. kids are like, oh, I want to be like the Joker, or I want to be Rick Sanchez. And it's like, no, you want to be David Tennant, Doctor People Who. People want to be on. Goku, and you know that for a fucking I fact. Don't think, I don't think Goku or Spider Man can can like compete with yeah. like I show speed on stream for twenty four <laughs> hours every day. He's Goku he is making like more money than I show years. speed. He's, he, you know that for a fact. Goku is making more money, band for bands. <laughs> If they go bad for bands, I, Goku will come on top. <laughs> I really no, think it's put, bullshit. Put them together but... with a with a with a fifteen year old demographic of today. I don't know who's gonna win. Kids, <sighs> kids like Jujutsu so Kaisen fast. now. It's not Goku anymore. <laughs> oh boy! Oh boy! Anyway, Gamergate two coming soon. Uh, it's not Get, ready. <laughs> Get ready! Get ready! <laughs> This is like when comics get happened. Yeah. Like nobody cares. Okay, I'll, I'll say this. This might be harsh, oh but the only God, reason comics gate didn't work out was because it was post Gamergate, but also comics are just not that popular. So no one, yeah. no yeah, one gives no a one fuck. Gives a you can't like you back. can't get you, Sargon of a Cod is not going to give a fuck. Comics gate guy I saw was just this guy that would buy a comic, read it, and then if he didn't like it, he would tear it like on the stream. Mm-hmm. But like. You awesome. don't do that. $5. Like even people who <laughs> identified with him were like, "You destroyed a book, you piece of shit." Mm-hmm. Yeah, that is like sacrilege for like a comic fan. I mean, if anything, you just um, wasted multiple five dollars. Is that like mm-hmm. yeah. copies are expensive? Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure yeah. he was making it back in the uh, YouTube views, but it was still like, what a moron. Yeah. That like Comic Gate is the equivalent of there being like a toy train <laughs> gate, like a toy train <laughs> community online. You like, know, that, you, like there you, might, might be, be more. You'll be surprised. Almost the tank engine has fallen. Train gate <laughs> happened. That was the um in Jap- in Japan. 
there was that foreign oh, guy who that, said oh yeah guy. i know what you're talking about uh, yeah the, yeah the train otaku were fucking insane <laughs> fucking um what was i gonna say fucking uh there was a one tweet i saw where a guy who like who's on facebook and he joins a bunch of groups where people who think they have superpowers right <laughs> like they think they're <laughs> okay. psychic and whatnot and, it, and yeah spider-man's their role model <laughs> 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 okay, Spider-Man doesn't have psychic abilities, uh, Kazoo. Okay. But also, <laughs> no, but what's funny is that he, he's, he's talking about, like, all the superpower groups I've joined are, like, moving into, like, an anti-woke direction for some reason. <laughs> oh, my God. That sounds like some Kyora nonsense. There, there's all these, like, weird, like, like even, like, w- w- there's that fucking, like, the Reddit meth group where they, like, take meth. Like, oh they, made, like, the they made, like... R slash meth is so funny. They made R slash... <laughs> but the, here's the thing. They, they splintered off and they made R slash meth without communism. Because <laughs> apparently oh. there's just too many, like, <laughs> lefties so cool. and progressives in R slash meth. Uh, I, I saw one of those that was just like when your na- when your bitch neighbor who doesn't do meth says hi. <laughs> we gotta we gotta get the right away on meth. That's that's gotta be the new wave. Right, exactly, yeah. oh exactly. God. It's so yeah, they gotta keep pushing them towards meth. The, 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 I remember the, that one thread about the guy who like. <laughs> more likely than you think there is that one thread of the guy that was like i'm so good at quitting things i'm gonna try heroin <laughs> and then he got like horribly addicted for like 10 years <laughs> and then made posts like he made a post like hey guys i used to be the guy that said i could quit anything <laughs> but i did heroin and i got so addicted that it ruined my life don't do heroin <laughs> Isn't I mean, that that's, like, that's valuable that's a valuable that, that was yeah. like uh that was like a guy on joe that's rogan true. recently wasn't he where he said like yeah i got a meth recently just to show like joe you could rogan. quit it easily <laughs> oh my god that's Honestly, that's fucking awesome. That's something I would do. <laughs> I would do it with do cigarettes. I, I literally I literally am that kind of person like, yeah, I could literally quit cigarettes. Like I don't like well, I'm you, too fucking you don't strong. Get for hooked that from, like, it's not heroin. Yeah. I know it's not one, you can't but like just, I, I would smoke you can't for like a week like, and then I would do quit. it for a week and then it's be perfect. like, Well but then I stopped. It has yeah. to be like you have to do it like try it for like a year, Cow. You need to have like the positive <laughs> association that you build up with smoking. Mm-hmm. To get addicted to it and everything, mm-hmm. guys. Oh, that would be a good way to ruin someone's life. Like, uh, just hire someone to jerk them off while you get them addicted to it. <laughs> <laughs> that was um. There was uh, you know what? I, I remember. I remember. Uh, <laughs> I remember a green text story with a similar premise where it was like a guy who like, um, I think it was like his ex or something like a girl would stay at his house. Right. So every night he would get like a nicotine pouch and put it on her. Yeah, right. I saw that. And then like, you know, like take it out before she wakes up or whatnot. And then, um, and then she would want to just keep coming to his house like all the time. Right. And she doesn't know why oh my God. Right? she's getting like addicted. Somebody... Okay. This is not, it true. sounds this like cannot... he's like, yeah, probably I not think... true. Cause it was a green text story. Right. But like, <laughs> yeah, it could, okay, but it could be like true, these... but it could be true. <laughs> Have you guys seen like these like shitty, like, uh, what... they're like these fucking like, uh, YouTube shorts that are like unethical life hacks, and it's like yeah. Bob and Patrick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I think I heard, I think I seen those uh, unethical life hacks. Yeah, yeah, I think those are fucking. That, does, awesome. that sounds like something they would say. Like, put nicotine on your girl so that way she associates. <laughs> <laughs> they oh say shit my like God. that. The AI Patrick voice says, "Wait until she's actually an REM, or else it won't work." That's how the the AI sounds too, because for whatever <laughs> reason, the the Patrick AI is really bad in this. Video. Yeah, you know. Also, by the way, I'm still mad about when when I said Spider Man's a role model, and you all laughed at me. I'm, I'm just, like, <laughs> I'm sorry, it, was I wasn't <laughs> laughing. <laughs> It was. It was. Really it's like I believe you unconditionally because because it's so it's so like if I had like yeah you know like kids look up to superheroes and then y'all laugh at me. <laughs> you should make really, a, you should I like mean, make like a comic about that. Uh, <laughs> it could. It, 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 Andrew Tate. This, yeah, this is the start of my like joke jokerification. They laughed at my Spider Man <laughs> when they laughed at me. Yeah, they laughed oh, at you know, Spider Man. Spider Man is supposed like, to inspire home. Yeah, they could do a comic where it's like okay, the Joker's got like a stream and he's like broadcasting all this crazy shit right right and then bruce and then and then batman's like oh fuck all the kids like the joker now they don't like batman anymore so now (laughs) bruce wayne he gets bruce wayne to like become like a big streamer 
<laughs> oh, so, uh, oh, so yeah, the Joker streamer, and he's on the stream, and he's saying like, "Have you noticed how Batman only beats up poor people?" <laughs> <laughs> and literally all it would take. And all the zoomers are like, yo, Joker. base, Joker base, W. Joker no, on like TikTok. Joker's like communist, and then Batman's like right wing. That's literally Joker the Harley Quinn show. <laughs> Did that? I was like, yeah. Yeah, they they do like Bruce Wayne's yeah, they like, do that. We have to yeah. be on TikTok. Joker looks at the screen and says, I'm a socialist. Okay. Yeah. I, I remember seeing I remember happy. seeing certain people be like really excited about that. And I didn't know how to It didn't really them, like, like go anywhere. He kind of. Yeah. yeah. Joker's a piece Do you of shit really in that think they're gonna not... they're gonna just have like a character <laughs> like, be late epic communist? If you still if you still watch the Harley Quinn show, that's fine. But for me, it kind of fell off, so I just stopped watching it. He immediately um, backslid into being a villain, and that's when I realized, oh, I can't watch any more of this. Like bad. they're not letting watch. the characters not, continue he, their arcs. He does not feel backslid. fit my social values anymore. I have to back out. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's just like they hard reset on everything well, the, the, in that last. Scene. There's a thing about like uh, go. No, but I mean, the thing is that the show was doing so well at not doing that. Like, that's the one thing that I liked yeah. about the show is that they did that pretty well of not, like, going back to status quo. But once it felt like they started going back to status quo, I was like, uh, and also I have, like, other problems, right? Not not to be all woke, but there was, like, one episode where I felt like this this, this episode feels a little, <laughs> not, to be, not to get all woke on you, fellas, but there was an episode that made me feel like this episode feels a little anti-trans, right? For me, not gonna lie. <laughs> Uh, it's whatever yeah, it's it's probably you know what it's probably all like okay it was, it was whatever i i didn't see like the last four or three episodes if nobody agrees with you cheesy uh you're wrong but if one person agrees with you you're gonna be right true it do be like that <laughs> <laughs> the fucking the fucking mouth is insane <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah 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 these are so awesome i i've just been like scrolling this <laughs> oh my God. Like, this is Flash actually insane on the front of my brain a core memory <laughs> oh, trans and non-binary characters now. that's so fucking awesome i'm i'm so fucking <laughs> is that the one you're talking about this, this is why i don't smoke math because i might become this person <laughs> <laughs> uh, when, when someone told me it's addicting i believe them you know why would i think they're fucking with me you know yeah all right, game. It's kind of that. like how I have a core memory of listening to uh, Pan Pizza while playing um, Borderlands, the pre-sequel, and I don't know why it's there, and I hate it, but it's there. <laughs> All right, anyone? Anyone got up to and something? Something else to say before we uh, call it? No, come right, okay. on. All right, uh, no. Uh, I have to. I have I to go do some math. <laughs> I big. I big could be sold. <laughs> <laughs> the meth subreddit uh, convinced me that I think it's time to try uh, math. We also do to do math. Um, who who got something to promote? Just say it right now. My zine will be there eventually. Look at my Twitter. It's in the yeah, bio. Twitter's on Twitter's on the screen. You can follow mm. my server. I mean, join my Discord server. It's somewhere. All right, uh, Kazoo. What are you doing? Uh, I'm I'm working on stuff. I should have like a zine out by the summer, and then I want to have my web comic out by the fall. And, you know, yeah. Yeah. Just just go to Kazuchichu at uh, the 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 fucking Twitter, Instagram, wherever the fuck. <laughs> I don't know. Fuck you. Gotcha. All right. Uh, all right, Julian. What you got? Please visit vqcd.in. That's my website where all of my cool stuff is uh, hosted and posted for you to view. Uh, coming soon, Bob Cut Short Pants, a uh, SpongeBob parody from someone who has not seen SpongeBob. You're gonna hate it. What? That sounds like a that sounds like a character you could like come to. Bob has this Cut been known? Pants. Yes. I feel like I'm already <laughs> doing math. <laughs> this sounds like, like you I'm made like a math. like a gooner SpongeBob. It, <laughs> it feels, wait, uh, are you talking about you're the one who hasn't seen SpongeBob? Spoilers. Spoilers. Okay. What? I, what? I, I think is this I, I, I. What's happening? I, I think uh, <laughs> it's just, the silence is what's funny about. I think. This. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Did we know this? <laughs> It does feel it does feel like Julian. Though, right? It does feel like a Julian. Yeah, yeah, that I feel like a Julian's got a lot of lore. He's got a lot of interesting. Lore. There's a lot of weird just like whenever things. Whenever I found happen. out Julian was black, <laughs> that's fucked up. Why would you say that? It's it's. it's <laughs> why would you? Why would you? Ask? This is worse when I found out Julian had ghost DNA. 
<laughs> I'm gonna add that to my about page, ladies. I have ghost. I have the ghost. <laughs> All right, Jim. What? 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 Uh, what do you got? Um, I do a JoJo podcast mm-hmm. called Joe Kaka Ka. We talk about new chapters of JoJo mm-hmm. Lions as they come out. New chapter just dropped. Pretty intense. It was very like a. Uh, uh, very graphic depictions of bullying in this uh, in this chapter. Oh, I heard seeing, about that. We love seeing that. Yeah, makes me want to catch up now. Uh, yeah, definitely. Um, very interesting. I learned uh, that I have a lot of trans listeners in my uh, audience because I I asked for people who are trans to come because like there's like trans bullying essentially mm. in the chapter and a lot of like really I'm kind of like uh speechless actually at all like the people that spoke up and had thoughts about this is very Maybe if you interested. interacted with your server uh, at all before nuking it you might have known that. you know be <laughs> you should uh um, that's the ultimate <laughs> trans hate crime there, there was like i remember two instances yeah. of <laughs> i remember two instances of this happening where someone found out that there was like a lot of lgbt people in their like fandom and they're all like oh i gotta fix that my stuff oh, is my for God, straight people yeah. <laughs> she said yeah, it was like some girl i forget her name yeah she, she did a like, comic yeah, please that was like a romance please. comic <laughs> and it's like could she not put two and two together that if your main character is lusting after like like a, a man you know gay guys might be into that mm. you know because they like men it's it's the oh, main investment of that. like fatties please don't read don't read into <laughs> my video yeah, that would never be fatties me. do not interact <laughs> watch my, my videos please mm-hmm. they're not yeah. for you yeah, um, that's, that's something a different guy said, not me. Fat women, I love you. Yeah. My videos are meant for people with big booties, so if you don't got one, get a fuck yeah. out. Big booties, under sixty IQ, <laughs> and thick. I only hell. make stuff for for RMF, so <laughs> you know what I'm about. Yeah, you know what? You know what? You that shit, that, that shit that makes sense because that shit, I, it doesn't exist, so I'm not surprised. <laughs> oh, got him, oh. got him, oh. dude. Meth is oh. actually so it fucked up. Me. It's like real. Like um, some of these, like there, there's a post I just saw that was like, "Is it possible to live a normal life and use <laughs> meth?" And like, I'm just <laughs> that's awesome. I'm, I'm just reading the comments, and I'm just fucking crying. This one woman like has like the most depressing oh story God. I've ever read. Okay, it's you know so what? Sad. I bet it is sad. Let's not go into that right now. I am almost. All right, yeah, we don't have to. I think I think all podcasts should. I like I like to apologize to Kazoo for liquefying him earlier. He didn't deserve that. Yeah. That was uncalled for. It, it didn't go all the way. You've done a lot of it. I was uh, see, I was I just got out of bat. I just. <laughs> I just got out of a bad breakup. I took it out of kazoo. I made a pure liquid. I didn't mean to do that. Why did you show me this, dude? What the fuck? By your grandpa first. You rail. didn't have to show me this. All right. <laughs> <laughs> no, this, this is, this. This is typical. This. this is fucking typical gym, though. Every time I'm about to wrap it, I'll be like, wait, let me drop 40 pictures in the call. No, that was the me. worst shit. Wait, this is oh, kazoo. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> I guess I kind of. I guess I don't want to do that. I, I guess. Like I assume. <laughs> You know what? Back in the liquid chamber with, with you. Yeah. <laughs> Gonna make him into the muted gym, man. <laughs> All right, I'm and I'm cheesy Manfredo. Um, I'm I, I'm doing a lot of things, a lot of things. I'm doing I'm doing things bigly, you know. Um, fucking the fucking Easily. diesel diesel re bizarre redraw project. It's we're we're almost wrapping it up. Oh yeah, yeah do my page. Yeah, exactly. I gotta do my pages too. Yeah, did you get someone uh, to mean, replace me? After I just I said fuck it. I'm just gonna draw it. I'm gonna say fuck it because um because mine is just like my original page is just like a splash page of a. What is ex- the page? I, maybe maybe I could. My my uh, page. Uh, well, the page I'm supposed to do originally is just kind of like an establishing shot, and I'm like, this is fine, but yeah. Um, now with a uh, Protus gone, I could just and this one has actual people. It's also the infamous uh enemy stand page. Enemy stand. I I I really wish that I could draw that just the enemy stand. <laughs> you know what we could. You know what we could work something it's out. Cool maybe. that you thought you could draw it, Protus, and that's all that matters. Stepped up. <laughs> think, <laughs> yeah. think, Protus. This screenshot that you Look. posted is this implying that on meth I will only have to sleep two days a week? <laughs> Bro yeah, thinks sleeping like, two oh, days man, a week. Time is to get on. <laughs> yeah, gotta get on meth. <laughs> all right okay all right i'm i got i got projects coming down you'll see just follow my twitter where i'm be, i'm getting massive i have more followers than people like zoe stanley which i thought was weird i thought she had way more yeah, followers yeah. than me 
not. You got to be point. mean to Zoe Stanley for no reason. I love Zoe Stanley. Yeah, but she doesn't follow me, so I'm not going to state that publicly. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> <laughs> all right okay all right all right, all right. that's enough <laughs> greetings from serbian james <laughs> i wish you awesome day and good morning <laughs> all right all right all right, all right. Enough, enough of that uh, <laughs> all right this is this, this is the combo is even is even euphoric <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna make sure that I put that in the video so fucking people know what the fuck mm. we're giggling. <laughs> <laughs> alright, okay, alright. This is this is main character syndrome. Uh, <laughs> goodbye. Ooh. Bye everybody. Bye. Bye. Okay. Uh, Remember